your mom and dad. Your mom and dad. Your mom and dad. Your mom and dad. Well, huzzah, family! It's your mom and dad, my liege, huzzah! <laughs> my absolute liege. <laughs> you guys, we're back, and it's D&D &D time once again. Oh, my gosh. Okay, Brian Samus. Our absolute Dungeon Master King is back in the building. Yeah. I have to tell you all, after our first episode, it was making me laugh because I was getting messages with people saying, like, I didn't know that Oliver the Kid was going to be DMing <laughs> this yeah. game of d and I'm like, yeah, check out the music. I check think it's always music. surprising when they're like, oh, the big tattooed guy plays <laughs> board games all the time. <laughs> and the gorgeous sounds. And the gorgeous yes, sounds. Thank you. But listen up, family. If you didn't join us for the last d and I would highly suggest going going back um, because that's us playing D&D &D for the very first time ever. Of course, not our friend Lee over here and of course not our dungeon master friend Brian. But if you want to listen and like hear the rules and kind of gather the lore of it all for the first time, check out that episode. But in general, it's only our second time that Evan and I are playing, so we're also going to be <laughs> we're absolute pros. <laughs> so we're going to be requesting the rules constantly from our dungeon master friend Brian over here. Um, but there is a first timer with us, and uh, that first timer is Katie Thurston. <laughs> so happy to be here. Katie Thurston, I convinced her to come play Dungeons and Dragons with us. Did you think you'd be doing this in our friendship at some point? No, but I'm actually so excited after watching the episode. I'm so happy to be here. It's going to be a good time, Welcome. you guys. <laughs> it's going to be great. Oh, I'm kind of scared. I'm so excited, you guys. You guys, the cricket is already going off in the background, just like adding to... Do you hear the cricket? Oh. See, oh, yes. sometimes I do feel like there's kind of this like let's let's disturb the cricket so that it doesn't make noise during our yeah. podcast. Mm -hmm. But I do feel like, if I'm being honest, in this scenario, it gives a like we're by the campfire energy. Yeah, yeah and yeah. I'd like to acknowledge Chug your mask right now because I don't <laughs> think mask? I, uh, I don't know about it. I'm method acting, so this is not a mask. This is who I am. If you're not watching the YouTube right now, you're missing um, Chug, our demon over here with his yes. absolutely gorgeous. There's like. Um, I don't know. It's butterflies. giving, it's giving it's demon Mardi Gras energy. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's the giving, filigree is nice. Ooh, it's giving it's giving demon on spring break. It's Beauty and the Beast in one. Oh, yes. 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 Wow. Yes. For sure. It's also, it's also giving Chug is going to show his tits. At yeah, some it's point. giving throw yeah. beads at me. Yeah. Because <laughs> like, again, remember my character. Yes. Yeah. I'm I'm kind of I'm away from mm -hmm. the demonic presence yeah. and I'm finding myself and part of finding yourself is to kind of party and let loose. I so this that. is my new energy coming off of Mardi Gras. You had custard on your tits last time? Yeah. <laughs> oh. Custard. It was meat and custard everywhere. Ew. <laughs> I'm already disgusted. Custard. It was the, it it was was the right response. <laughs> it was correct. It was custard and porridge. Hey, let's not yuck some people's yum over here. <laughs> there, That's man. all I'm saying. Um, so if you're new to listening to this podcast, <laughs> welcome. welcome to hell. <laughs> um, okay, this is what I think we should do, everybody. Again, if you haven't listened to our first episode, it'll be in the episode notes. Check that out because that's when you get to know our characters that we created, mm -hmm. Evan, myself, and Lee last time and the gorgeous story that our dungeon master friend, our bestie over here, Brian, created for us. Um, but I think we should remind everyone who our characters are yes. um, and, you know, bring back the energy of who they are before we dive into this officially. And then we get to meet... Katie's character Ooh. Yes. that Miss Katie Thurston came up with. I'm excited. <laughs> yes. So who, who wants, wants to go first? Okay, because I'm on the right, I'll just start. All right, we'll start. Okay. I am just, just <laughs> nice to meet you guys again. <laughs> Don't laugh. Okay. Pleasantries. Um, pleasantries. I am Shargarian, <laughs> a.k.a. Chug. Mm -hmm. I am a demon who kind of doesn't really feel at home with the other demons. I don't like get the whole let's eat man flesh and you know, you destroy the world energy. I kind of want to just meet people and get into the world. So family sends me out 
to kind of find myself in hopes that I'll return uh, as demonic as they hope. But um, <laughs> I'm not really feeling that. So I'm just in adventuring in the world, finding myself and a little um, a little lost, but, you know, hoping to be found. And you're, was it Aww. 13 feet tall? I'm 13 feet tall. <laughs> oh, so, wow. Yeah. I'm 13 feet tall. I'm like demon up top and kind of a, Elf in kind of a bottom. centaur goat bottom. <laughs> 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 kind of hooved. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the backwards knees. Yep. A bit, of a, a bit of a hyper, what is it? Uh, anyway, yeah, my knees go the other way. <laughs> And um, I'm happy to happy to be here. Oh. This is kind of my energy. I'm 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 mm -hmm. I'm putting on my human voice right now. But anyway, that's me. Nice to see you guys. Nice Good to be here. Again, nice to see you again, Chug. Nice to see you again, Chug. Um, my name is Cindy Cawford, mm -hmm. but you can call me Cawford. My mm -hmm. friends do. My enemies call me that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Hold I on really quickly, making a note. Yeah. <laughs> Later, yeah. got it. Um, and I am a human. I am a sorcerer. Mm. Um, but here's the bottom line. I don't know who my birth parents are because I was dropped in a nest at almost at birth. So I was taken in by a amazing crow mother who I worship <laughs> as my mother and my God. And I have all my hundreds and thousands of crow brothers and sisters. Um, and I'm a little delusional. I believe I am a crow deep down and I'm kind of on a mission to really find my birth parents because I know when I find them, they will be crows, um, though mm. I am human. Um, and that's ultimately my mission. Also would like to remind everyone, I do have an absolutely gorgeous rack. It's yes. massive. <laughs> it's distracting. Double D, we don't even know her. They're way bigger. Oh, yeah, yeah, that was part of it. That was part of it. Um, Lee, would you like to go next before we meet oh, Katie over yeah. here? Yeah, so je crois. Je crois. Je oh. crois. I gotta find the voice. Yeah, oh, right, right, right. that voice. <laughs> oh, it was just in the swamp. Yeah. <laughs> Sunday in the multiverse. <laughs> On a long journey, he came out, and he's neither here nor there, but everywhere. Oh, <laughs> je crois. Je crois. Your voice has gotten a little deeper, a little sexy. Yeah. 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 Right. For, for some reason, I want to buy a Lincoln. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Mix in a little like wow. Yeah. Oh, I know. Mix in wonder. I mm. Oh my god, je crois yeah, with the surviving. Je crois with the je ne sais quoi, mm. as they say. Yeah. <laughs> that is my full name. <laughs> <laughs> je crois my je ne sais name. quoi is crazy. <laughs> 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 All right, Katie. Mm. Oh my God, we're meeting Katie. Hi, everybody. <laughs> my name is Rose Marie. I am. How do you pronounce this? A damp a dampier? Yeah, you're basically a a vampire. I'm a vampire. Oh, yeah. Yes. Oh. Yes, I'm a vampire. That, giving us that twilight energy, honey. I will say I'm also an urban bounty hunter, which I picked up after um, the love of my life was murdered. Mm. So I'm kind of feeling um, revengeful, mainly towards men. If I get a woman on my bounty, I let her go. I'm all I'm for the girls. Okay, you're a girls. I'm girl. a girls girl. She's a girls girl. But I do love killing the men. Oh my Whoa. god. <laughs> I mean, I'm supposed to bring them to back know. alive, but like sometimes I just like thirst gets to me a yeah. little. Bit and like I just can't help myself. Question: yeah. Is it a human male or is it just any man? Anything with a penis. Okay. Mm -hmm. I think Chug's Chug, parents would have... love you. Oh. Yeah. Question: Chug, do you have a penis? Thirteen I feet tall. How a big is goat it? Flap. Ew. <laughs> 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 Holy shit. <laughs> oh my. Of all the things I thought you were going to say, <laughs> that was not one of them. I, we're well, you got to remember I'm a goat from the bottom. Yes. So, <laughs> and we'll goats not, canonically. We'll not get into what I have. What I have has <laughs> okay. never been seen. And it's the stuff of nightmares. <laughs> <laughs> it's like if you see it, you will die. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. That is wild. <laughs> that is wild. <laughs> Welcome back, Brian. Oh my god, I'm already <laughs> done. I'm getting big the, the crow energy too, because you have the crow motif yes. and then and then lover being dead, getting revenge. This is yeah. like the movie the crow energy. Yeah. Yes, you and I are symbiosis. I queen. love it. Mm -hmm. Crows are my favorite bird, actually, so 
Wait, are, are you for real? In real life, yeah. Wait, the how hell? have we not talked about this before? Because it's a weird fact that I don't typically drop around, you know? <laughs> Jess, you don't, Jess, we call her the crow mother. Well, I've heard with your with your grandmother. I, I'm obsessed with crows. Obsessed. They're oh. the smartest bird. <laughs> she and they never, so she they they never forget. <laughs> they never forget. They use tools. Yeah. They bring you treasures. Yeah. There's a lot. They'll attack you if you're bad. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You got to watch the, all, the, all the crows. Have you guys seen all those ones? The movie The Crow? Mm. Oh, oh yeah, 1994. Uh, yeah, oh, they're doing a remake. Well, you know the year it was made. That's yeah. impressive. Well, they're wow. doing a remake with okay. uh, Skarsgård and FKA Twigs about to come out. Whoa, oh, another wow. The Crow. Yeah. Well, we know who's going. <laughs> 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 okay, family, hold up. We got to take a quick pause before we officially dive into this D and D game. Which, by the way. It's a good one. So mm-hmm. stay tuned. <laughs> we so have fun. so much fun. Um, but we had to take a quick pause for two reasons. First, I have to remind you all to tune in to our Friday episode this week because here's the thing. One thing we're going to be discussing on this Friday episode is what reality TV shows we're going to be diving into before we get our new Bachelorette season, I believe in July. So please tune in on that Friday because we're going to be discussing some potential shows that we're going to cover. And I think we're going to need your thoughts, feelings, and opinions on this because we're throwing a few around. We got some suggestions from the family. We want to kind of get a consensus, I think. Mm -hmm. So please tune into that episode on Friday. Also, uh, Friday's episode, Evan and I have our 12-year wedding anniversary. 12 12 years together. So we thought we would bring the family in and have an episode where you all can ask us, honestly, any vulnerable, personal... There's nothing to private hide. Private <laughs> question about There's nothing left our hide. relationship, you know, whether that be personal questions or advice. I don't think we're experts over here, but, you know. We well, the, mom and dad, we'll take we, care mom, of We have 12 years of marriage now, yes. and what, 18, 19 years together. So you can um, send in those questions. I'll be going on your mom and dad Instagram and put up a question box that you can send those into, or you can leave them on the call home voicemail, which uh, the link for that will be in the episode notes below. So you can send in your questions there. Like I said, everything goes, whether it be um, advice about our time together mm-hmm. or personal questions. So let's get into it. That'll be Friday. So please be sure to tune in. Um, and the second reason we're taking a quick pause is baby, I got to talk to you all about article. You know, the thing I love about D&D is that you can create anything you want, your own magic world. I can give myself wings. I can live in a castle. But you want to know the truth? Even in my dream D&D castle, that castle would be furnished by article, okay? Article.com, even in my fantasy, because it is simply the best. After discovering article a few years back, it became the only place we got our furniture from, indoor, outdoor, all of it. We've gotten couches, dining room table, uh, chairs, side tables, and more. With Article, you get gorgeous styles, great quality, and on top of it all, amazing prices. Yes. Article believes in amazing design for every home. And uh, thanks to their online-only model, they have some really amazing prices, too. Their curated assortment of mid-century modern, coastal, industrial, Scandinavian, and boho designs makes furniture shopping super simple. I always have the Article tab open on my computer to browse through all the designs because they are just too good. It's true. He always has it open. Yes, always, always open. An article's yes. team of designers are all about finding the perfect balance between style, quality, and price. They're dedicated to thoughtful craftsmanship that stands the test of time and looks good doing it. Also, Article offers fast, affordable shipping across the U.S. and Canada. Plus, I love this so much. They won't leave you waiting around. You pick the delivery time and they'll send you updates every step of the way. It is seriously incredible. It's one of my favorite things about Article. And also they have an amazing customer care team. Amazing furniture, customer care team. We love it. Article is offering our listeners $50 off your first purchase of $100 or more. To claim, visit article.com slash mom dad and the discount will be automatically applied at checkout. That's article.com slash mom dad for $50 off your first purchase of $100 or more. Now, huzzah, and back to DD. Back to it. <laughs> well, that is the intro. <clears throat> mm-hmm. um, again, this is Katie's first time and only our second. So we will be continuing to ask many please, questions please along do. this way, Brian. Um, should we? Should we just get it right I, into it? Let's, should, enough yes. with the talk. Questions also very welcome. Yeah. Love questions. Yes. I just want to say, 
I'm so excited. Thank you for coming back. It was my most favorite episode ever. Mm-hmm. I've been just on pins and needles ready to dive back in with D&D with a trio that now we have added a, I don't know what it is when you add a fourth. A quad. A quad. quad. <laughs> Our quad. Oh, and yes. I can't wait to get into this, everyone. <laughs> a quartet. Uh, oh, wow. That's like, way that's prettier. A little fancier. Oh, that's you make a music? Nicer. That's very nice. <laughs> Chug your quartet. <laughs> <laughs> now that I've come from, okay, let's onward. Gosh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right, Should ready. I'm ready when you guys are. Strike the music. <sighs> oh my god! In the quaint town of Almsford, on the world of Iola, the players, Chug, Chargarian, Cawford, Jaqua, ah. and Rosemary, have been hired. Once again, by the swamped local detective known as the Space Cowboy. (laughs) To help find and bring to justice the culprit behind a string of disappearances. Recently, you guys had helped save the town's local bartender and baker, Mr. Butters. Mm. Um, You also rid the town of of these mysterious holes and you brought to justice his captor, Mr. Salt, who now resides in jail. Um, you guys each earned five gold from that. You have these honorary detective badges to sort of have carte blanche within the town to do what you need to do as he's swamped. Um, however, Mr. Salt was not the top of the pyramid (gasps) and was but a pawn in a much larger scheme. So you have been tasked with figuring out who's behind this, who was Mr. Salt working for and why. Cawford, having the carte blanche power of a detective and the recognition of your prowess in this field around town has given you hope and confidence that you can one day find your parents. You hear the sound of crows circling overhead, and you know that you're never truly alone. That's so deep. My brothers and sisters. Chug, you and your companions are local legends, local heroes. Oh. Fuck yeah. You really feel like you've personally bridged the gap between devils and humans. And you feel that acceptance growing every day with the deeds you're doing. The humans accept you for who you are. But do the devils. (gasps) Jaqua, the stars have aligned. You feel your purpose growing ever greater. Nature is speaking to you. The swamp and the stars guide you. And you feel the pull. Rosemary... You've met up with your friends, and all of you stand outside on the streets in Almsford. You stand between uh, a weapons shop named Bloodbath and Beyond. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Real quick. I thought for butter or for worth or whatever it was last time it was kind of a pinnacle mm-hmm. blood bath and beyond yeah. you topped yourself I don't know how you did it anyway resume my bad <laughs> you're good um, my you, you stand outside you, you're you in between the weapons shop blood bath and beyond and the flower shop uh, peonies envy oh, um, shut up dude <laughs> <laughs> Dude, how you come up with this shit? It's insane. Um, you just met. You all just met with the head detective, the space cowboy, Steve. Um, <laughs> and you've learned that many of these disappearances are leading back to a place outside of town called Eternity's Voice, Immaculate Lord. <gasps> oh. Um, it's a manor out, outside of town that you guys have never personally been to. Cawford. You actually just recently had a conversation with uh, Sally What's Her Face. God, that fucking bitch. Oh I just can't. I mean, I can't escape her. Especially- I saw her the other day, by the way, walking around. Same eye makeup on. I mean, obviously. <laughs> Yours is obviously Everything natural. Everything I but- <laughs> do. <laughs> you saw her the other day, and she actually told you that she was headed there. That there was somebody in town that was handing out pamphlets and that they were doing um, some big meetup there that she was really interested in. And so oh my God, she an left. MLM. <laughs> she said if you all you got to do is put a little bit of money down <laughs> um at, in addition to her other townspeople um had been um heading out there due to th- this this meetup that's happening i don't think you guys really got too much of a gist of what's going on but 
you have a direction of maybe something to check out from the space cowboy and you guys stand in the middle of these two shops in the town of Omsford. Why doesn't everybody, just to get started, especially since you've never played before, roll me a perception check. So what that'll be is your, your D20, the big guy, the huge guy. You'll roll that, and then on your sheet, there'll be a thing that says perception on the left with a number, and you'll add it to whatever you roll. <laughs> I got an eight. Okay. You got an eight? Mm. Okay. okay. I got eight. Seven. Well, I got I mm. rolled an 18. Which is great. But Amazing. I don't know where I'm looking here. You're adding just right in there, something. yeah. That? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. So, so what are you adding to that? It's so a 22 a total. 22 is great. Oh, wow. What you get, Crawford? Yeah. yeah. 10. So with a 22, mm. Rosemary, you hear some people um, around town. Some there's there's a couple folks that are that are outside the weapons shop. Uh, you see that one of them has like a comically large hammer that they just bought. <laughs> um, they're holding it, talking to somebody else about the people who left town. Saying that they heard that people were going there to heal their souls. Mm. Have you guys heard of the the gathering that's happening? Oh my god! Don't even get me started. Sally, that fucking bitch. <laughs> she won't stop talking about this. It's making me absolutely mental. She's calling me twenty four seven. Which, by the way, she's calling me in general anyway. After we got our detective badges, she's so jealous. It's crazy. <laughs> she <laughs> but really she wanted won't... you to come to her birthday. Well, I mean, she wants me to come to everything, yeah. but she won't stop calling about this meeting. And she told me that, she... and she's also like, there. She's have pamphlets all over town. You passing them out. You don't have FOMO. I'm having FOMO, and I feel like we should go. You have FOMO about this? Everyone's there but us. That yeah, feels but weird. Sally's there. <laughs> I do have to say, thinking I would like of- to meet some more humans. I, am I new to this whole thing? I wouldn't mind a couple meetups. It's good for socializing, an and maybe you and Sally can be friends. Listen, that's. Can I use <laughs> prestidigitation? Yeah. Can I use a sword? <laughs> can I kill her? <laughs> can I use prestidigitation to um, make my breasts larger to <laughs> get dominance in this situation? Because yeah. I am simultaneously attracted to Rosemary and also mm -hmm. threatened by her. Yeah. <laughs> so. oh. We are in full anime territory at this point. <laughs> this is, we have crossed a bridge. But yes, absolutely. That is... <laughs> And that's Thank just you. a cantrip. That's something that you can continue casting throughout the day. Amazing. Thank yeah. you so much. Well, mm -hmm. now that these are larger. Um, <laughs> well, okay. I don't have I don't have FOMO, but I will say during our last adventure, I mean, Sally did have all those holes around her house. It mm -hmm. makes me wonder. I feel I feel suspicious about her. What do you think, Shikwa? You always have just such good character analysis and judgment. You I mean, tell me what you think about Sally. Talk shit about her for me. <laughs> Sally with an S always pretty suspicious to me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Who knows what she's up to tonight? I mean, she's been following you around all year. All year. Mm -hmm. And the pamphlets are stacking up outside my house. I'm telling you all. It's a nightmare. A nightmare. Hmm. If she was a man, you would have killed her by now. <laughs> is all I'm saying. Um, yeah, why doesn't everybody also roll me a history check mm. as you as you're standing here in the streets, uh, wondering where your investigation goes next? Watch what? No, the the big one, the big oh, yeah, twenty big. sided dice. And then you'll add your little history score. Sixteen. That's great. Seven. Fourteen. Fourteen. Fourteen also. Fourteen as well. Um, I think putting your heads together, you guys remember, so these holes that were around the town, you guys actually went around, uh, a, a large group of people went around and you guys plugged all those holes up. Um, so there are, the holes in town are totally fine. You do remember those pamphlets that you're talking about. You were getting a lot from Sally for her birthday. She still hasn't had the party, by the way. She's <laughs> waiting for you to RSVP, yes, yeah. to have the party TBD. be a go. Her birthday was at weeks ago, and she's holding on for me. Yeah, with a, with a 16 history, Chug, you've looked around town. You don't see anybody else getting those invitations. You think it's just Crawford getting the invitations. <gasps> Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Um, you guys, she's wanted to wear my skin for forever. <laughs> this is the time. And I also think with it, so with a 16 and with you guys putting your heads together, you, those pamphlets, you also have seen the, the pamphlets that Sally got and that other people in town got to leave these pamphlets that were from the, um, eternity's voice, immaculate Lord. 
Um, and so, yeah, you, 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 as you look around, you see almost everybody who's gone out of town. Like you walk by some houses and you see those pamphlets sort of in their front door. And they're yeah. missing now? Uh, they've all gone to this place, which mm. is outside of town, which is also where your investigation was leading you with these uh, disappearing p persons. And the Sally birthday pamphlets mm -hmm. included this location. No, the Sally birthday pamphlets were, were separate, but why don't you make me a investigation check as you're, you're holding both pamphlets in your hands. It's a two <laughs> plus one, so it's a three. So let's, let's, I'll, I'll. She's not the sharpest crow in the shed. <laughs> we'll learn about something right now all together that we didn't really do last time called the help action, which if any of you want to help her investigate. <gasps> oh yes. my goodness. You yes, can roll again. Please. You'll okay. have advantage. So you get to roll twice Thanks, and take the fam. higher number. You know how absolutely she scares the living daylights out of me. So I got to figure this one out. A 12. Okay. Way better. 12 plus it was a one. Yeah, so a 13. So the 13 is you're holding both these pamphlets. There's nothing about Sally's includes um, a location really because she sees you all the time. Doesn't include the location of this place where people are sort of, some people are disappearing to. A lot of people are going out there now for to get their souls healed. Um, but as you're feeling the pamphlets, same material. <gasps> Maybe made at the same place. Do we all know anywhere locally where there's, I don't know, a paper smith? <laughs> what is it called? That's a great question. Well, can we... What, was, what, was, the, what was the deal with uh, the bloodbath and beyond? Yeah, the weapon shop. Yeah, that the was weapons. a weapon shop? There's a weapons shop there, and then there's the flower shop. The, the flower shop. Is the okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. Should we go investigate those spots? Just to kind of maybe just start knocking doors and kind of seeing what's going on before we head to this party to see if we can just get any sort of... I don't know. I mean, I suppose we can. I don't necessarily know. You don't think there's a connection, maybe? The, you think we should just go right there? We could. I'm just wondering about this paper. This paper. Do you think Bloodbath and Beyond has I mean, any maybe sort the of... Beyond is paper. Oh my God, Chug, you've done it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just throwing it out. You know, maybe there is a... What do they call a... It's not a paper smith. What is it? Like a mill is or something? Papyrus? Oh, wait. That's, is that a fruit? <laughs> 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 but papyrus, I think, is a paper. I don't know. It's an idea. Also, <laughs> wanted to make one side note. It, it's sir, the, the name of this place is serving cult. Yes. It's absolutely serving right? cult. Right? Eternity's voice, Immaculate Lord. People going it's, there to heal. It's, it's, it's get healings. It's I'm getting cult vibes. Mormonism. Yeah. Yes. I'm getting big cult. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Um, I, I'd say with your with your 16 history that you had rolled and your guys 14 sort of putting your heads together, um, this is definitely giving this went before this place showed up. You guys had a pretty normal life. You guys, you know, like yeah. there were thefts, there were the occasional murder, um, that sort of a thing. But life was pretty normal. And then all of a sudden this place showed up outside of town. And then all of a sudden. Mr. Butters goes missing. You go find him. Mr. Salt is infecting rabbits with a worm and turning them into some like monstrous creatures. Um, so definitely, definitely giving some sort of a cult vibe. Well, I suppose going into Bloodbath and Beyond couldn't hurt because we might need a weapon or two. And as far as the Beyond goes, I mean, Rosemary, I don't want to bring up any of your personal life. I don't know if chug or jiquano but i do know you have a bit of a reputation around town because of your um only fandom <laughs> only fangs your only oh fangs. oh how, how the hell <laughs> that, that was insane <laughs> only fangs <laughs> god you're born for this shit okay continue there's a reason he's the best wait what do you mean um, i have a reputation well no i mean in the best way people okay. people you know you're I only fangs, pride in my but i know that you know you you the, the, the subscription is on scrolls yes so mm. i know you're constantly printing you would know where paper is made. I'm, I'm the actually. Of the and wow. Beyond. I am actually an expert when it comes to having and making paper. Yes. Um, I do think we should go check it out and yeah. see. And I can I can match and see if this is the place where this paper is being oh. printed. Okay. 
So you guys head in yeah, to Bloodbath and Beyond. Down. You head in, <laughs> bing, 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 through the door, the bell goes off, and you see behind the counter a guy that you've drank with a lot of the drunken frog, <laughs> Duke. Hey, oh, brother. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Jinx. You owe me one later. Come oh, on. Oh, man. <laughs> what is Jinx? I'm new to... Earth. What is Jinx? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> how much time do you who's, have? Who's Jinx? <laughs> <laughs> well, anyhow, how can I help you guys? Um, so we, I don't know. <clears throat> what, I didn't catch your name again. Was it Jinx? Duke. Duke. Yes, Duke. Uh, hi, Duke. Hey. Mm. <clears throat> she props up her breasts. <laughs> yeah, you look, you, you look at Duke, and I mean, Duke spends most of his time at the bar when he's not at his weapons shop, so he's not looking you at the eyes. He's looking straight at your boots. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Like, dude, I see that you've noticed my new detective badge. Yeah. Um, so I'm not trying to slang this badge around here at all, um, but we are needing to do a bit of an investigation. Oh, I don't know if you recognize my friend over here, Rosemary. You might have seen her OnlyFangs scrolls printouts. Mm. Make a um, make a persuasion check for me. Okay. And this is a persuasion check for him to look away from your anime tits. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's not looking so well. A six. A six. His so, eyes are glued. <laughs> so he kind of, he kind of, he kind of goes, goes, oh, hi. Yeah. N nice to meet you. And then he sort of like flips a little sign over on the thing that says discount. Oh. Uh. He's got Some, only fangs at chug. hand. Mouth breathing. <laughs> chug, man, I didn't know. <laughs> I'll roll deep. <laughs> I mean, jeez, man. All right, well, yeah. I like Earth. <laughs> <laughs> I like, what is Jinx? I like Earth. Wild. <laughs> You're crazy. You're good. Hey, listen, we've hung out a lot and still I learn more every day. <laughs> um, so, Duke, um, the Beyond section, can you point us to that? Since we have a great discount going now. Um, the Beyond section, can you... Yeah, he, he uh, pulls back a curtain and you see two things in the Beyond section. The first is this just black void that you that you see that goes into nothingness. Picture a, picture a tiny black hole. Just he, he pulls it back and you see that and like every now and then you'll see like a, um, like a long tentacle come out and just go... <gasps> and then be pulled back in and he goes... <gasps> That's the hole. <laughs> So that's to beyond if you want to go through there. No, but no one ever ever gone that way. Comes back, but um, that's that's the beyond. And then you see right next to it, there is a uh, a small uh, paper printing desk. <laughs> 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 goes, yeah, weapons. Uh, you can make you can make your own gift cards and, and things. And as soon as you look at it, Rosemary, you notice immediately oh the God. actual paper that both of these pamphlets was made on. You see it's like still there. Like there's a big stock to make your own sort of invitations or whatever right next to it. Oh, you guys, if you look at this stack of paper, the texture is the exact same. I, and I smell it. It's it's un, it's undescribable. This is the exact same smell as those invitations that we've been seeing around around town. It kind of smells like... Um, uh, what you put the frogs in in the jars, the, the formaldehyde oh, smell. Formaldehyde. Oh, yeah. oh, that's oh. it's so distinct. I mean, here, smell it. As you, oh, as smells you, like Sally. <laughs> as you smell it, why don't you both make a perception check? This will be for your smell. This is the perception of of, of mm, smell okay. as you're both smelling this. Ooh. I twenty three. That is really good. <laughs> I'm four. She's an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> With a 23, it's everything that it smelled like to you, but there's a there's a underlying smell. Oh. That you smell there. And it's so faint that most people don't pick up on it. And you know that this smell is from whoever was here. Mm. Like kind of like left over from them. Oh. And oh. that smell that you smell on it. It's canola oil. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh my god. My. God. I am noticing there's like a, a hint of canola oil. Rosemary, you weren't with us on this last adventure, but when we last rescued Mr. Butters, that cake that was being made, those horrific worms, on that list of that carrot cake was canola oil, and we <gasps> know that Mr. Butters used that, and we were very disappointed. <laughs> Duke sort of pipes up and goes, canola oil? That's ridiculous. <laughs> Was it 1990? <laughs> <laughs> 
do you get an expected from uh, you? Uh, <laughs> Duke, I thought you ate cleaner than this. <laughs> okay, family. She's pausing. Not Cindy Cawford for this moment. Actually, I always am Cindy Cawford. Let's be real. In my heart of hearts. It's a lifestyle. Uh, but it is your mom for a second here because we need to take a quick pause and tell you about something I am so grateful for. And that's Hayaz Essential Kids Vitamins. In particular, their daily multivitamin. Because listen, as a parent, you want your kiddo daily getting those vitamins they need. But the problem I've run into is that my child either thinks that they taste gross and will not eat them or they're practically candy and made of not good stuff. Okay, well, guess what? We started using Haya, and now our daughter Ember begs for her vitamins every day. It is such a win. We are so grateful. She literally begs for them yeah, she's like, <laughs> every morning. Can I have my my vitamins right now? I'm she like, runs okay, out sure. first thing in the morning, asks for them now. <laughs> so this is a win. This is a win. Yeah. Like Jess said, typical children's vitamins are basically candy in disguise filled with like two teaspoons of sugar, unhealthy chemicals and gummy junk. That's why Haya was created, the pediatrician approved super powered chewable vitamin. While most children's vitamins are filled with five grams of sugar and can contribute to a variety of health issues, Haya is made with zero sugar and zero gummy junk, yet it tastes great and is perfect for picky eaters. It really does taste good. I had some when she first got them delivered and they're delicious. Uh, formulated with the help of nutritional experts, Haya is pressed with a blend of 12 organic fruits and veggies, then supercharged with 50 essential vitamins and minerals. I also recommend checking out their new kids probiotic and nighttime essentials. Amazing. Haya is designed for kids two and up and sent straight to your door so parents have one less thing to worry about. We thank you for that, Haya. Okay. Oh, and by the way, you get this really cool bottle with your first order and then they send you eco-friendly refills every month. And that first bottle comes with stickers. And Ember was obsessed with the fact that she got to decorate her vitamin bottle. It was just such a great touch. They think of everything. We've worked out a special deal with High Off for their best selling children's vitamin. Receive 50% off your first order. To claim this deal, you must go to highyahealth.com slash mom and dad. This deal is not available on their regular website. Go to H I Y A H E A L T H dot com slash mom A N D dad, mom and dad, and get your kids the full body nourishment they need to grow into healthy adults. Again, that's hiahealth.com slash mom and dad. All right, back to D&D. Wait, oh. so everyone, this is our connection. This smells like canola oil. No mm. one, no one in this town uses canola oil that we're aware of. I mean, we could do some more checking, but that we're aware of except... Mr. Butters, or I guess Mr. Salt. No, the yeah, bunny. It was, even it was. The, it was yeah. The person who was making that cake. The demon yeah. bunny was that like bunny. Yeah, the demon bunny with the very tight cheeks. If we yeah. recall. Oh <laughs> yeah. Tight, tight cheeks. Tight cheeks oh. and an apron. I just gotta say, I haven't eaten a carrot since that day. <laughs> Scarred. <laughs> yeah, this is your quads not been the same. I'll be honest. Yeah, I can rule that out for the rest of my life. I'm good on those. <laughs> <laughs> so wait. Where should we, what do you think, Shaqua? Where should we go from here if we know that that's connected to the demon bunny, to the holes? Hmm. Well, Duke, are you going to the, the manor as well with the rest of the town? Oh, no, man. I got to keep the, keep the shop open and hey, time is money. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what they're doing up there, but I, I'm, I'm making money. Speaking of, little, little, I got a discount sign up. You guys want to buy anything? Hey, Chuck. <laughs> Yeah. You like you work you're working with that sword you got there, right? Yes, sir, yes, sir. <laughs> I feel like I'm rubbing off on oh, you a little bit, Chuck. I got this. Chuck has picked up on the local colloquialism. You know, I'm trying to not sound so demonic. I didn't know if you were interested, but I got this I got this bad boy in today and he takes out this big box and opens it and it's got this um felt interior and it's this sword um that looks kind of like yours. It's a big great sword, but the blade goes like this. All the way up to the point. He goes, yeah, it's called the Wave of Sorrow. Oh. Just think about that. Mm. I love that. <laughs> yeah? Well, hey, we're running the discount for you guys. I mean, I'm running, I'm running, hey, sale of the century, buddy. It's a once-in-a-lifetime offer, five gold. 
you guys, should we kind of not to be like this person? And I'd be happy to hold the sword. But what do you think if we all kind of win in on this Venmo style, like sharing an Uber? <laughs> if there was kind of like if we sh if we all con contributed toward the sword, it's a very Isn't cool this sword. Just for you? <laughs> but I'm, imagine if no. there's an I might need it. Yes. Okay. Um, do we have any money? We all have five gold. You, you each have, have five, five gold. gold. Oh, yes. We have five you, gold. You have five gold as well. Uh, Perfect. Honorary. Because I was going to say, Rosemary could just kill you. Which I'm kind of about, I'm leaning towards it, but whatever. <laughs> That's true. I guess I'll just, I'll just kill him, you guys. <laughs> he is Chuck's friend. Oh. And we are the detectives in the town, so we probably <laughs> shouldn't some, start with murder. I don't want to <laughs> He's also a good drinking buddy. Okay, fine. But the next guy. Please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, your bloodlust will be satisfied. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Rosemary is thirsty. So I am. <laughs> can we all put in the pot for my sword? Uh, okay, well, I think you three okay. can do that. I'm, I'm new here. I'm. <laughs> oh yeah, my God. You, are you, uh, Rosemary, are you really already skimping out on the cost? Yeah, you didn't even earn you the first five. You didn't even get the first five. <laughs> Look, my only fangs has been That's on the true. decline with That's people true. going missing. I am uh, I having to shift my budget now, you guys. Oh, that's true. Okay. All right. Well, right. I'll, I'll agree on one okay. condition. What? When the only fangs is popping off again, you're taking us all somewhere. You want to collab Cancun. with me? <laughs> <laughs> with your tits and my fangs, I think we're on to something. All right. All right. Fine. I'm very familiar with Cancun being from just, hell. Yeah, let me just write that in here. Uh, Cancun is canon. <laughs> <laughs> we have a lot of... Uh, spring breakers. Yeah, a lot of spring breakers down there where yeah. I'm from. Yeah, I forgot to mention, oh but Duke's just wearing a Hawaiian shirt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just got back there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'll all take right. the sword off. Thank you. All right, Jaqua, are you fine putting in a gold coin? I mean, what do you got for Jaqua? Oh. Yeah, he sort of looks at looks at what you've got going and sort of he doesn't really see like a massive weapon on you, and that's kind of mainly what he has. But he goes, "Oh, what what are you looking for? I can maybe I got something in the back. Oh, got anything magical? Oh. Um, he looks. Do you have a shield? Uh, I do not. Mm. And are you wearing armor? Um. It's got 12 armor class. Yeah, light armor. Nice. No, I do have a shield, actually. Sorry. I just never use a shield. He brings out this this shield, this this shield from the back, and this set of armor. Um, both of this shield and this armor, Rosemary, you recognize as being worn by the last man mm. that you killed. <laughs> oh! uh, but he, he brings it out. You can tell they're both magical. Um, and he sort of looks and he goes, yeah, man, I got, I got both these. Uh, but I'm, I, it's five, five gold for either one. Or oh. if you want, or ten gold for the pair. Oh, what, what's what's that shield? Wait, do? I recognize so that. I recognize that. Oh, really? Yeah, Billy Bob Thornton used to wear that <laughs> before I killed him, but he was gifted. Oh man! <laughs> I mean, Duke, my guy. Clearly, it didn't work super well as armor and a shield. If Billy Bob got killed, so how about a little Good discount? Logic. Four um, gold, and I'll give that other one to Chug. Oh. Four gold for the shield. Four. Uh, you know what? I like you guys. So he says, "Yeah, all right. Four, four gold for you, and a uh, sword for you." Thank you, sir. I'll all take. right. <laughs> um, the the sword. It's called the Wave of Sorrow. If you hit with it. Uh, it'll do an extra D6, like the normal dice of of uh, acid damage. Oh, yeah. So not so your normal attack does slashing damage. This sword, as you swing it and test it out, you see little bits of like magical acid <gasps> every time you swipe through the air. Whoa. Oh. I have a uh, side note question. <laughs> Can you're calling our like investigative checks. Can we call those as well? Sure, absolutely. Oh, okay. Yeah, I love that. Yeah, you, you can definitely be okay. like uh, an an insight check. Sometimes yeah. is if you think somebody's lying to you, or you want to know like what's this person really about. Like, let me insight check them. Got it. Okay. Or you can be like, I want to look around this place. I want to. If you were like, I want to pick Duke's pocket. You could call a sleight of hand. Sleight of hand. Check. Okay. So I can call any of these. You, yeah, you Got can. It. You Great. can absolutely call it. There is just a. Um, keep in mind that you know if you said I want to pick this guy's pocket and you roll poorly how it could turn against yeah, how that turns into Got is it. that you did try and I'm, you and it went poorly. got it okay yeah. uh i think that we should roll to an investigative check into that hole of death 
that has, you know, alien arms coming the, out. The oh. beyond. Yes, the, the beyond. beyond. I mean, that was like the a crazy thing. We saw that and just like ignored it. And then just like <laughs> we did a deal about a sword. <laughs> Yeah, you know what I mean, like that's imagine seeing a black hole and be like, "That's crazy." Yeah, how much we, for the yeah. sword? Sorry, it's yeah, my ADHD. Like, I, I'm yeah. sorry, guys. So I'm trying. I really think we should talk about the fucking hole of doom. Yeah, yeah. Also, so, you know, I tentacles. Maybe our pal Jacquois here could do an animal chat. Yeah, you oh, could. Yeah. You could do a nature check if you'd like to try to determine what kind of an animal that tentacle was from. I don't know what the. I don't know if that tentacle's from this world, but I'll give it a shot. Absolutely. <laughs> Nine. Within nine? I don't think you're sure. I mean, it was huge. Like, <gasps> you saw part of it pop through. Like, you remember when the bunny, uh, when he turned around, he had sort of like a tentacly maw coming down? Yes. And you know mm. for sure with a nine, not that. Mm. This is way bigger. This oh, was like an God. octopus's tentacle. Basically, oh, wow. That like popped through and popped back. Okay. And Duke goes, Are you guys looking at the beyond hole? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Um, that's pretty cool, huh? That's my nickname on OnlyFangs. <laughs> Duke furiously scribbling down the information <laughs> to subscribe to it. <laughs> Should we do an investigative check? A magical, yeah. a magical bird flies in and drops off another gold piece to you because he just subscribed. <laughs> All is not lost. Back gold. <laughs> okay, question. Can I ask them what their... Um, uh, what their numbers are, like investigative. If if, can I ask if anyone's because I'm a zero? Can I ask if there, anyone's not a zero? Yeah, or is sure. That, okay. in, in game, how that would be is like you know you would know who th is the best out of you guys at like okay. finding stuff. Got you it. know the same way you would know if you go to a escape room with your friends, you know who's good at those. Got it. Yeah. So who who has the highest investigative check? I only have a one. one. I have a zero. I got a one. Okay. Mm. So then I'll just you want to just roll. You, sure. a, you said you have a one? Yep. Yeah, you want to roll a say, uh, investigative you can, yeah, check? Yeah, you can roll with advantage, too, because oh. we can sort of say it's a group. Okay, okay. great. Yeah. Oh. Three? Sorry, oh, guys. No. It's a four. I've been rolling real low. Okay. <laughs> Probably should have been me. Oh, no. A five. A five. <laughs> so as you investigate <laughs> this hole, this truly is like an anomaly. I mean, like you're looking around and you're like, normal shop? normal weapons the thing to make paper hole that goes to nowhere that like you go to the side of the hole to see if it goes any farther back and no it's like paper thin it's like a paper thin black hole like on the other side of it is just this other inky blackness and you're sort of wow like, huh. why is this thing here i actually built the store around the hole i came oh. up with the name <laughs> when we had the hole i thought it would be cool sometimes we get people just coming in to check it out i'll run like when the fair's going on uh, I'll I'll have charge people at the door like one copper to come see the hole. <laughs> have you ever thrown anything in the hole? Yeah, all the time. You want to throw something? In? <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, that sounds fun. Come on, <laughs> let's throw something in the hole. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, uh, sorry. I, I, I really idolize you. <laughs> yeah, I there's, can tell. There's like a thing going on here. I'm a little bit. No, I like it. Yeah. Okay. You guys got anything to throw in? Um. Let's see. Yeah, we can throw in. Um. What do I have? Let's see. Can I shoot an arrow in there? Absolutely. I man. got 20 of them. Oh, yeah. yeah. Thank you, Chug. Okay. <laughs> roll a to hit for me. So mm. you'll roll a d20 and you'll add your arrow to hit. And the... Oh. 18. Oh, that's <gasps> very good. Plus oh. stuff? Well, I don't know. But what is it? Your longbow at the bottom of your sheet? I think it's six. 24. Ooh. So not only do you shoot this in, you shoot it in and if it were a target, you shot a bullseye. <gasps> You also see with a 24 that like the second before it touches, you see like the tentacle sort of pop out a little bit as if to like wrap around it. Oh, wow. But you see it. Yeah, it, go, it goes in. You don't necessarily. Disappears. Yeah, you don't hear anything. Disappears. You look the other side of it. Didn't go through it. It's just gone. What are you guys thinking? Should we move on? Should we? Because we've thrown something in it. We've asked about it. He, you know. He doesn't see. We should. We, have we even asked him if he knows what it is, or is he just? It seems like he's just just like here's this anomaly. Yeah, I got no he, idea, he man. Has no idea. <laughs> no it's it's pretty cool, though. It. I mean, it seems like Coffert's the guest to honor. So shall we go to the soiree? Oh, I think it's time. You think Shaqua? We should go to Sally's birthday. <laughs> no, 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 no. She's talking about the oh, the cult, the cult meeting. Yeah. 
Get our souls cleansed. Yeah, the, the thing that everyone's going I'm to. I'm just saying that he said I was the guest of honor. So I'm wondering, before we go to the cult meeting, is it better for us to go? You guys, this is going to be really hard for me. Are I you can't, okay? I can't be friends with uh, her. It's okay. Honey. <laughs> she's an absolute nightmare. Look, but is it a good idea? Because she's been holding off on this creepy birthday celebration that's for her, but somehow is just for me. Do I call her and tell her? <laughs> that I'm going to this birthday and see where it lands because that invitation and all the eternity's voices is eternity's voice. Yeah. Eternity's, uh, eternity's voice, immaculate Lord, eternity's voice, immaculate E-V-E-L. Lord, EVEL mm-hmm. has the canola smell. It's the same type of paper before we just <clears throat> barrel on in. Should we go to a birthday with Sally? Can I, I run a persuasion? Or no, what is it? Perception? If I want to know if this is all created in her head <laughs> and this has anything to do with what we're trying to accomplish, but also I'm not like trying, I'm not I'm trying being to offend her. Right now. But like, are we going to go to her Our, birthday? It's going to be this whole thing. But what, actually, what we're trying to do is I'm save sorry, this whole town. You realize, and she's making it about <laughs> Sally's birthday. And she's I'm acting called, like, oh, I'm she's, she's going like, oh, she's so obsessed with me. And she's this, this. But I'm actually, sorry. she's have obsessed with met, her because she won't stop talking about her. So I'm kind of going, what's the deal? And he realizes that she follows me everywhere. Okay, yeah, you guys have you better won't before. Stop talking about her, so I'm kind of wondering. Okay, like, maybe guys, this guys, is guys. The opposite. Look, I'm only in town for a brief moment. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with you and Sally. Okay, but we got limited time, and yeah. I, I do think we got to make a decision. I think we got to go where everyone's going because let's not forget the mission. People are missing. Yeah. yeah. You also know that that while it is possible to go to Sally's birthday if you'd like, you do know that Sally went to this thing. Right. So we would just be going to her house. Right. No, so she went to this this place outside of town. This right. this everyone's there. The Every, soul cleansing. Yeah, a lot a lot of people from town are there, including her. So even if you did want to have a birthday party, she's out there right now. Yeah. yeah. Let's go together. All right, fine. There's yeah. power in numbers. We're gonna be fine. We'll be crashing Sally's party this time. <laughs> 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 Fine, this everyone. Supportive, more supportive friends. You all will figure it out as soon as she sees me again. Sounds fine. <laughs> Great. You all just sound jealous. You're kind Cheers. Of turning into Sally. If I'm being honest. <laughs> <laughs> um. All right. So you guys head out. New sword. New shields. We're ready. A lot of information acquired. You guys are going to head out of Bloodbath and Beyond, and sort of make your way out of town to this 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 place. Um, as you guys start to head there, who would like to sort of like lead the way? You guys know like the general direction of where it is, but you don't necessarily have it like located on a map. Mm. Well, they say as the crow flies. Mm. <laughs> so I feel <laughs> like perhaps my ancestry would help. I love that. Or we have the bounty hunter and also our druid elf friend. Um, definitely mm. not Chug. Yeah. He's tall, though. I mean, he I can kind of over the trees. Scan. It's interesting how even the last adventure you were talking shit, <laughs> <laughs> and I just there's like an unspoken vibe, <laughs> and we'll talk about it after we save the world. But I'm just feeling a little bit like there's always a bit of a target on my back. <laughs> Chug, are you okay? Well, I've had demons attacking me my whole life, and now I have. The first woman that I've sp- spent a decent amount of time with. And I just don't know. Is it me? Is it? I feel like there's pain behind that mask. <laughs> there's a lot of pain. And I just don't know why. I'm always. I don't want to talk about it anymore. Let's continue. Oh, on. My heart hurts for you. Thank you. <laughs> um, well, as you guys start to head out there, why doesn't everybody roll me a survival check? Oh, okay. Oh no. 23? <gasps> Three. 20. You got a nat 20. You got an after 20? Yeah. Nice. Well, no, what's your what's your add on? Oh, though? survival. You guys, I 323. <gasps> wow. <laughs> I'm a 2. <laughs> oh, I thought I was bad. <laughs> So as you guys are, are are making your way out there, I could you, say a lot right now. But I'm not gonna. <laughs> I was gonna say, you guys, <laughs> you find it pretty quickly. I think you you pick up on like the footprints and like people. Some people took wagons. People took horses to this place, mm. and you find the trail that people were on. Okay, family, I gotta take a quick pause. Another quick pause because you know, 
After my crow obsession and now this whole Cindy Crawford thing, members of the family have been messaging me and asking me, when am I going to get a crow tattoo? Okay, when am I going to get that crow tattoo? And guess what? You all have inspired me. I think a crow tattoo has to absolutely be next. And let me tell you what, after I get my next tattoo, the aftercare I will be using is Mad Rabbit. This podcast is sponsored by Mad Rabbit. Oh my gosh, everyone, I recently started using Mad Rabbit on my tattoos and I am obsessed, especially as the warmer weather is upon us and my tattoos will be exposed. Mad Rabbit is committed to reinventing tattoo aftercare Founded by two friends with a passion for ink, Mad Rabbit creates simple, effective, and natural products that help improve and preserve tattoos all delivered directly to your door. These products are amazing, people, okay? They are amazing. Yeah, they're so amazing. They're hero <laughs> product. The Tattoo Bomb sells once every 90 seconds for a reason. It revitalizes, replenishes, and preserves tattoo ink with clean and natural ingredients, and it's effective on both new and old tattoos and all skin types. That's the thing about it. You still got to take care of those older tattoos if you want them to maintain their quality. I put my Mad Rabbit Tattoo Bomb on all my tattoos this morning, babes. And I actually counted. I recently counted. I currently have 39 tattoos. And since I started using the balm, my tattoos look better than ever. They're popping like brand new. It's about to be 40 tattoos with this crow tattoo people, okay? And Mad Rabbit is truly the most effective tattoo aftercare. After using Mad Rabbit, 94% of people reported Mad Rabbit helped preserve their tattoos depth. 88% reported their tattoos contrast appeared more vibrant. And 87% reported their tattoos appeared more intense. That is a big deal. And listen, it's important to take care of your tattoos. They're a part of you. So you want to treat them with love love and care with Mad Rabbit, okay? I'm obsessed with everything that Mad Rabbit has. Um, they've got all the products you need for your tattoos, from a tattoo sunscreen to a soothing gel to a lotion and more. Seriously, fam, check them out. Now is the time to try out Mad Rabbit. They've preserved over 3 million tattoos, and they've got an exclusive offer just for your mom and dad listeners. If you go to madrabbit.com slash momdad25 and use promo code momdad25, you'll receive 25% off. That's 25% off when you head to madrabbit.com slash momdad25 and use our promo code mom dad 25 now back to D and That's thinking so about that crow tattoo that i'm gonna get <laughs> at uh, at a certain point the the trees clear and you you actually see the place off in a distance it looks like you have to sort of go down in this ravine and then come up it looks like it might take like oh. an hour or two after you clear out of the forest but the path looks clear um as you exit the trees though um, what's everybody's passive perception? It'll be in the bottom left of your sheet. Mm. My passive perception is 10. 14. 13. 15. Ooh. 15 and 14, those are great. So you guys see this person uh, first. You see as you guys come out of out of the woods, you know, you're walking this way. And as you do, there was somebody whose back was to the tree this way. And both of you instinctively turn around knowing that somebody's there. And there's this guy like leaning up against the tree and he's got like a cigarette in his mouth he just says you guys coming through i suppose we are ah, <laughs> lovely that's great you just got to pay the toll how much is the toll uh 20 gold 20 gold <clears throat> yeah you guys let me just kill him <laughs> you told me the next guy i saw i could kill him please 20, um, we're our the vampire game. friend is very thirsty. I want to let you. I want to let you have your bloodlust, but we should we do an investigative? Should we do some sort of? You know, let's figure out what's going on Hold before on. we, because he might have his information for, for us before we enter this so cult meeting. Insight check if you want to yeah. check this guy's intentions. Yes, an inside check. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Inside fine. Check. <laughs> Fourteen. Are we all rolling. Um, 10. 10. 10. 12. 12. Oh, I rolled, uh, for doing perception? Uh, insight. insight. Insight, insight. Oh, 20. Oh. oh. <clears throat> Let's go. I rolled a deception over here, and <gasps> I rolled a 16. <gasps> so you catch that, this guy's full of shit. This guy's trying to shake you down. Yeah. You, you also, in looking at this guy, this guy's heavily armed. <gasps> this guy's, like, up against the tree, and you're looking at a classic... 
This is like, you know, before all of these disappearances and stuff, these were the nuisances your town used to have. Bandits. Yeah. And you, as with that insight check, you see him there, and you also see that there's a guy the other way behind the tree with a bow. <gasps> oh, my sniper. sniper. So we've got a full, we've just walked <clears throat> straight into a trap. a trap. But you you succeeded over his deception of trying to play it off like nothing's yeah. wrong. Like, this is normal, you, but he's just sort of, yeah, 20 gold. <gasps> now, <clears throat> <clears throat> I want to talk between the man killer and myself. Mm. Oh. I'm kind of feeling like, guys, I mean, I have the sort of acid mm. and I'm 13 feet tall. Yeah, yeah. I could A, do it, uh, do an intimidation check. Okay. Or like an attack and attack one of them to like, maybe if I attack the guy behind with the bow, I will then scare the guy who's leaning up against to be like, oh, I can't fuck with these guys. I just want to kill somebody, please. <laughs> wait, wait. But I'm also like, okay, what's her power when it comes to killing? Good. Her power is much different than yours, whereas you're like a frontline fighter. She's a rogue. So she, first of all, she has a bite attack, which mm. if that bite attack does a killing blow, she can eat somebody. Yes. But also <laughs> oh she has something called sneak attack, which oh if God. she hits somebody, she does extra damage if it's a sneak attack or if there's an ally within five feet of the person, because she's oh. good at, since she's a bounty hunter, she's good at sort of sneak attack is like she's picking the person and knowing like, if I hit you right there, that's really gonna hurt. Should we let you do that to the guy with the bow? Please. You also, no, you also notice with 20, it, an intimidation. First of all, you look at this guy and you look and he's like head down, he's got like a hat on and he's got this cigarette in his mouth and he has scars on his face. Ooh. Like intimidating this guy with violence, you get the sense isn't gonna work. You get the sense that this guy is like, you're either going to give me 20 gold or I'm going to kill you and I'm going to take all your gold. Oh my yeah. God. Okay. You also so, notice that the guy with the bow, he's kind of, he's a little far. I mean, he's like 15 feet away from you. So if you were to just all of a sudden turn and run towards this guy and do it, game's on. Okay. Like they would attack at the minute that you started moving. So they're the already bowman. ready. Okay. Question, question. Before we potentially get into a full out battle, is there an, an opportunity where perhaps I could use prestidigitation? I said it. Yeah, <laughs> you did. And create some sort of sound that's beyond them that maybe frightens them, like some sort of sound like a large group of people are coming to intimidate them. And if that doesn't work, then we could dive into potentially... Combat. Combat, because combat, I mean, we haven't even gotten to the MLM yet. <laughs> So part of me wants but to save up. I like this idea, and we should we should consult with DM here. But I am I'm feeling like we're out of options. So well, maybe it's all we'll, it's all risk and reward. So in doing that, in casting any spell, you there are uh, verbal and somatic components. Okay. Sometimes even material components, which means a verbal component is you when you cast spell, you go like, bibbidi bobbidi boo, and somatic means your hands go like. Gah. And this guy's looking right at you. So okay. the the risk reward is if if you did that, you would I would make you roll an intimidation check. And if it was really really high, it would work. But if it was low, he is you, you get the he's sense. Ready. Yeah, you get the sense like he's got his hand yeah. right next to his. Okay. All right. Cutlass. Sneak attack. Sneak All attack. Right. right? Yeah. What do you What do you think, Shikwa? Get... Can we attack at the same time? Yeah. If you guys are gonna oh. just like pop on this guy, what do you think? I, I have a longbow. You know, I could try to get the the guy far away. I also have a flute. And you could get the guy. <laughs> <laughs> she could do a little dance. <laughs> like a little strip tease. Because I'm really good at this. I can play a musical number. You could shake your tits. And then you, you could. 15 gold? 20. Like, yes, for 20. 20. I don't we think don't we have, have that. No, we don't We're have fucked. 20. We have no choice. With Paying is not an option. What do you think, Shikwa? I don't know if there's another option. Combat? Combat. Or bust. Hmm. Yeah? I think it's time for the sneak attack. Maybe I'll just... I uh, think that too. You mm -hmm. know, all right, my man. Well, I think uh, we each have five gold, so we'll all come up here and grab these coins out of our pouches. <laughs> Nobody ever gets one over on Giordano Big Brain Syncrope. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's, a he's Italian. I've heard of Italy. Hey, he's 
It's just sitting there. I did it again. <laughs> yeah, pay up. <sighs> okay. And as we're digging into our pockets to pull out and present our all five gold coins, mm -hmm. you two. I bust out my attack. longbow. You bust out the sneak attack. So yeah. you attack the guy leaning up against the tree. I attack the yeah. far away guy. So you have something at the bottom of your sheet there. I think it's your short sword so yeah. at the very big bottom. Mm -hmm. And there'll be a number next to it. And yeah, you'll yeah. roll a d20. Okay. And I'll tell you right now, this guy's armor class is a 12. Oh, shit. So okay. You want to roll higher than a 12. But you're going to add that number. Okay. 15. Yes. 15. <laughs> so you draw your short sword as this guy's hand is out and stab him. <laughs> And as you stab him, right next to your short sword, there'll be a damage mm -hmm. to do. I think it's 1d6 plus... Oh, plus three. So you'll roll a d6. Mm. A d6. A d6. So is, that, that, is that... Yeah, the wait, Ve Vegas die. This one? Wait. Oh, just a regular six. Yeah. Okay, two. A two plus three is five. Yes. And then you got sneak attack, which is an extra... Uh, d6, which is an extra... The, the same one you rolled. And I'll tell you this right now. You've done five damage. This guy has 10 health. So on a five or a six on this roll, you kill this guy in one shot. Oh, come on, Rosemary. <sighs> come on, come on, come on. A three. Ah, so oh. you do an extra three points of damage, eight points so of great, damage. So great. This guy, as you stab him, immediately. <laughs> And were you attacking as well when this happened? I was yes. shooting the other guy. Yes. Oh, shooting the other guy. Okay, cool. So yeah, shoot <clears throat> the other guy for me. Nine plus okay, so, ooh. six. Ooh. Yeah, this guy's AC is also 12. So, so you shoot this guy who was ready. So as you shoot this guy, he lets one loose right back at you. Oh, no. So go ahead and roll your damage for me. Is that the 20 as well? No, it should be right next to your longbow, it'll say. Longbow... 1d8 plus 2 piercing. Yeah. So you'll roll a d8. The 8 sided uh, die, and you'll add 2. Uh, and you know these guys have 10 health. If you roll an 8 on that die, on your d8, uh, zero. Whoa. That means you roll the d10. So that, that that's a 10 sided die. So oh, you rolled the wrong roll, one. Oh, oh, stupid guy. demon. Oh, this guy sucks. <laughs> chug. Sorry. Sorry. Chug. Demon. Chug. And you roll chug. the 8. Chug. Chug. Okay, sorry. You'll, you'll kill this guy. Seven. Seven. So Ooh. this guy, you shoot this guy, and it catches him right through the throat. Oh. And he immediately <laughs> lets one loose at you because he was ready. So oh. what's your armor class, sir? Oh, no. <gasps> oh, I'm no. so scared. Shit. I'm so scared. No, no, you guys. Uh, what do you, like, break this part? You guys part? are both going to die. Armor, armor. I, uh, I circled it right up top. I think it's 13. Oh, 13. Yeah. If 13. You, so uh, he, has a, me, he has a plus three to this roll. That's a 11 plus 3 is 14. <gasps> so, oh, no. He shoots you and does four points of damage. So at the top of your sheet, you'll see your health oh my is God. 12. Oh, yeah. my God. Oh so my make, God. A, make a note right next to that. Your health is now eight. <gasps> the max Shit. hit points? Yeah, because you just took four Shit. points of damage. I did that for you guys. Um, would anybody else... Thanks, Demon Daddy. Uh, ...like to go before we would potentially roll an initiative? Oh, I would get a shillelagh in there. Love that. You know? Yeah, yeah. All right. I on, could, the, uh, on the main on guy. On the main guy, on Mr. Big Brain. AC 12, and you know he only has two hit points left. So if you hit him, you should be able to do it. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's a seven. A seven. You swing your shillelagh, and because the sword went in, and he went down like this right as you swung, went right under it, and you hit the tree. Oh. Okay. Fuck. So you've got two options. You can get the guy who's close or the guy who's behind the tree with the bow. Okay, what do we think, guys? Um, I think the guy with the bow. Okay. Yeah. Um, I'll do Firebolt. Love the that. The guy with the bow. <laughs> Love that. <laughs> it's time for you all to see Evan rolling low, but Cindy Cofford is going to come in and destroy the yeah. shit out of all these people. Big titty energy! <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, God. Is Damn that, it. Is that a natural one? No, it's oh, a two. Okay. Oh, okay, okay, okay. <sighs> I was like throwing a firebolt it's into- It's a two plus five. Back <gasps> into the forest. If you roll the natural one, I think a forest fire might have started. <laughs> oh. um, it's a two plus five. So you, you shoot this at this guy, but because he has this arrow in his throat, he sort of backs behind the tree just at the last minute. 
and you hit the tree out front. It's going to be the guy who you stabbed. Yeah. Is he was so taken aback by the fact that you stabbed him because when you guys walked up, he was eyeing you. And the you're you're footer. close to him with your with your longbow. And so as he gets stabbed at the end of this first round of combat, he takes out his cutlass and attempts to stab you in the back because your back's turned to him looking at the other guy. No, I can't chug. Chug. I can't chug. I'm really taking a beating here. That's a three. Plus three is a six. He's too hurt. He goes to hit you, he misses. You can go and then you'll and then you'll be up. So I roll. Yeah, if you'd like to, you can you can do this. You also know this guy's so weak. Oh. But if you want to use your bite attack. My what you attack? Could, your bite attack. I mean, he's, oh. he's hanging on my Let me thread. eat him. Literally you can start, him over. You can start eating this guy. Feed. Yes, eat him. Feed. You, you guys, can feed. I'm so thirsty. It's time for you to feed. I'm so thirsty. <laughs> it's time for feed. Feed on that man flesh. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, okay. So, <laughs> so like, there should be a bite <laughs> on your sheet, and there should be a, like a number next to it, potentially, that has a plus. Bye. Maybe down by where the short sword was at the very bottom. Oh, yeah, plus three. Plus three. So roll your, your big D20 and add three to that. You have to beat a is that, 12. Is that this one? Yeah. Okay. So you want to roll a nine or higher on that. Come on, come on, come on. Eleven. Eleven. Yes. You yes. bite this guy. Go ahead and oh, what's what's the damage for that? Does it say next to it? The pl the plus or the piercing? Yeah. Um, one D four plus one. One D four plus one. So even if you rolled the minimum damage, yeah. which would be a one, mm. you'd add one. He had two health. So how do you start eating this guy? Describe your first kill. <sighs> I start from the, right below the waist and I start <laughs> sucking all the blood <laughs> because I got to de double tap into my only fangs, guys. Yeah. <laughs> this is how I, I'm desperate. I'm okay. the camera. <laughs> <laughs> or no, no, sorry. I'm drawing the papyrus. <laughs> You have you have you have one of those famous longbow cameras. Yes, 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 yes. yes, yes, yes. <laughs> and I he he's shriveling. He looks like a raisin. I've sucked so quick and so hard. Subscribe for more. <laughs> <laughs> and he now looks like a little shriveled up raisin. He's like a like a like a vacuum sealed bag. The rest of his body falls to the Even ground. Hell hasn't seen this level. Um, you oh. have now. You know that that guy with the bow. Yeah, he's still up. He's got one health. It's your go, but then it's his go, and he's gonna shoot at you again. And I'll let you know this: you're at eight health. If I roll max damage for him, oh no, he could kill you. <gasps> but you go first. I'm so scared for. Chuck. I have to go. Well, it's it's you. You can yeah. kill him before he kills you. Oh my god. But so could someone else join in, or is it? I'm just gonna go in order kind of, of how yeah, you guys yeah. went okay. originally. All right. Yeah. All right. Oh my god. Here it is. The twenty. D twenty plus your what? Whatever your longbow thing is. No, no, no. I'm seven. seven. Oh, a seven. Okay. Because it's I one keep, plus six. Oh, you rolled a natural one. one. Oh. Okay, so in so in D and D, in D and D, it's kind of up to the dungeon Fuck. master how to rule these. But generally, for me and for a lot of other people, a natural twenty is a critical success. You can succeed at whatever you want to do if you roll a twenty on that dice. A natural one is a critical failure. Not only did you not story hit, of my life. Not only <laughs> my father would agree with you. Not only did you not hit this guy oh, no. with your bow. You pull back and your bow snaps in half. <gasps> Chug. You pull this. You pull the string off the back of your bow. You know it's fixable, but right now in this combat, oh, it's no. not. Thank God we gave him the wavy sword. All right. Hey. Plus three. The sixteen plus three is nineteen. Oh. Oh no. no. How much health do you have? What if I sacrifice myself? Eight. Eight. I'm rolling a d six. I need, if I roll a six on this, it'll bring you to zero hit points. <gasps> shit, shit, shit. <gasps> One. <gasps> <gasps> so you take three oh points of damage oh as this guy, this guy who's bleeding Chuck, out. Chuck, I'm so sorry. I love you so much. <laughs> your bow, your bow snaps. I knew it. <laughs> yes. Oh my God. His flap's getting hard. In this my moment. His flap is rising. One guy gets <laughs> turned into a small raisin is falling over. A guy has a thing through his neck. Your bow breaks and you just go, I love you so much. <laughs> so much. Cry. Um, now, either one of you, I believe you went next. So you yes. see this guy is 15 feet away from you. 
He's kind of behind a tree, but he's only got one health left. Oh. If there's anything you can do to get at this guy who's a little bit... See. You can also run up to him if you'd like. Oh, yeah. A little help would be nice. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, I can run up to him. I got the movement, right? Yeah. I'm gonna run up to him and hit him a shillelagh again. Love that. AC 12 is armor class. Oh, 23. Ooh. Oh. So he only had one health, so describe how you kill this guy oh, with your shillelagh. Man. I'm a whack him with the shillelagh so hard, roots grow out of his brain. Yes, wow. Jacob! He always comes and saves Chug in the last moment. He you, really does. The bromance, man. You hit this guy's oh. head into the tree, and it immediately begins to like morph with the tree. These roots come out and like wrap around oh the tree, God. and this guy's body is stuck there. He's there. Another vacuum sealed guy is on the ground, <laughs> and these bandits who tried to rob you are both dead. Yes. <gasps> yes. Good job. I did nothing. <laughs> um, you but see, you looked hot. That's all that matters to me. Aww. By the way, Chug, um, what I said earlier about loving you, um, I just wanted to make it clear that that was just like a favor, just in case you were going out. I wanted you to have like a positive affirmation at the end. Like, there's no romantic feeling. <laughs> oh, God. I'd rather have him roll five thousand <laughs> than hear that. <laughs> I just don't want anything getting to your demon head. Oh no, <laughs> or goat legs. No, it was not as hot as this. Um, I'm feeling, I'm feeling a poetry vibe for Chug in the future. Oh yes. Some of these lines you're dropping out there, are nice. I, I do have something to say. Don't touch me. I, I drink, I drink a lot of blood. I need to um, expel myself. Uh, yes. Um, uh, dear Rose Marie, sorry. Um, IRL has a date mm -hmm. <laughs> actually that she I am needs to, to go I'm to. Trying to replace, Kill him. I'm trying to replace my deceased lover, you guys. Okay. So Rose Marie has to what? Vanish? Yeah, as a vampire, actually, oh. it's kind of perfect because now that you're satiated with blood, oh. you can turn to mist. Oh. You can turn into a swarm of bats. Oh. And all right. And head out. Well, Rose Marie, thank you so much for. I bid thee farewell. Thank you for being my battle partner. They, well, I'm so glad we survived. We we'll did it. We'll Got catch it. you on the other side of this. Yes. Thank and you. And we'll thank have you. answers about this MLM you. for you. <laughs> Best of luck to the rest of you. Thank you. I will be sorry. departing as a bat. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Absolutely amazing. Oh Epic. my god. Okay, family, one final pause. pause. One final pause in this D&D &D episode. This episode is brought to you by BetterHelp. Family, I want to do a check, a vulnerable check-in with you right now. How is your social battery right now? How is your social battery? Is it zapped? Bursting with energy? I'll share first. Currently, to be honest, my social battery is drained. Okay. It has been for a few weeks. I've learned, by the way, via therapy over the last few years that due to struggling with boundaries, my social battery is often drained and I happen to get drained really quickly as an introvert myself. Um, it can be easy to ignore our social battery and spread ourselves thin, especially with social gatherings picking up after the winter. Uh, what's the right amount of socializing for you and how do you recharge? Therapy can give you the self-awareness to build a social life that doesn't drain your battery. That's what I'm learning as a 35-year-old, okay? And if you're thinking of starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. Jess and I have benefited so much from therapy, uh, separately, as a couple, as parents, all of it. Therapy has actually helped show me that I'm more of an extrovert and that I need to be charging my social battery more than I do, uh, how beyond necessary it is for me to be in a community often. I've learned a lot through therapy. Uh, BetterHelp is entirely online. It's designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. Just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist and switch therapist anytime for no additional charge. Mm -hmm. I love how simple and easy and smooth BetterHelp makes it. Find your social sweet spot with BetterHelp. Visit betterhelp.com slash momdad today to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp. H E L P dot com slash mom dad, betterhelp dot com slash mom dad. All right, now it's D, &D time. 
All right. Well, Rosemary bid us adieu, a.k.a. Katie Thurst. Katie Thurston lived up to her name, Katie Thirsty, by drinking that blood at the end of the episode and heading on her way to a date right now, you know, to continue with her man hunting. God bless. Love that. (laughs) All right. Um, I am feeling a little insecure because I've been rolling. I haven't been able to um, help my comrades. I do think it's my large boobs that are distracting me. So they're even I, distracting you. <laughs> they're getting in my sight line. Yeah. So I am going to use prestidigitation <laughs> to flatten for a little oh, while okay, as yeah. we continue on our mission, unless I perchance need it to charm. The prestidigitation sports Nike, bra. Yeah, yeah. A, bit, <laughs> a bit of a Nike air pump situation. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay. Up and down they go. Yes. Yeah, so they're they're a little smaller now, everybody. Is that up? Okay. Um, amazing. You guys, after a harrowing battle, one guy's on the ground. He looks like a vacuum sealed bag, like a raisin, body devoid of blood. One guy's head has meshed with a tree and has these vines and roots growing all over. Um, you guys head out towards the the location. You see it in the distance. It's about an hour travel. Um, is there anything you guys want to do within that hour of travel? I know that you're a little low on hit points. Yes. If there's anything that you want to do about the thing that you guys can do about that on the way? Um, I was going to make some good berries to ooh. nourish a chug. Oh, some Love healing that. berries? Yeah. The best berries. Um, do we roll for the berries or just cast it? I, I guess I, I don't really remember how many it makes. I think it's 1d10. Yeah. I think that Do you remember sense. that? Yeah, D10 sounds right. Cool. So I'll roll D10. Yeah, roll me a we'll D10 and we'll see how many you how make. How many berries? Ten good <gasps> berries. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, Shikwa is literally your savior. I yeah. just want you to know that you are kind of like Satan and he is kind of like the Lord. <laughs> Yeah, you have 10. Eating a berry restores one hit point each, and one berry provides enough nourishment to sustain a creature for a day. Wow. So you could have wow. one of these instead of ever eating. Um, but you have 10 of them, so feel free to dole out however many you want if you yeah. want to give some to... Uh, I mean, I think, Chug, you look like you need the I'm most I'm at five berries. hit points. I'm going to give you five. five seven, how many good berries Well, do eight you need? puts me... Or no, seven puts me back to full life. Well, seven it is. <gasps> Wow. wow. So you still have three, so hold on to those because yeah. you might need them later. Um, but after an hour of travel, you crest the hill. You come up to this location, the location, the Eternity's Voice, Immaculate Lord. And you see Eternity's Voice, Immaculate Lord in a huge neon oh, <laughs> right up top in like a semicircle like that. And th- this building is massive. And as you walk up to the building, you see that there's a front door and there's like a guy standing at the front door. You see a guy kind of like sitting on a bar stool and there's like velvet ropes like leading up to the entrance. There's not currently anybody in line or anybody doing anything, but that's what you see. You come up this massive place, Um, huge neon sign, guy at the door. What would you like to do? Okay. There's a few things I'm concerned about. Number one, it is getting late and me in the dark, not so good. My one natural predator, an owl. It doesn't look good for me in the dark, okay? So I'd like to get inside. But I will say, I can see in the darkness. But I can't. Oh, God. (laughs) But I understand what you're saying. Now, I'm wondering, so it's just this singular man who's sitting there, correct? Yeah. I would love to distract him in some way. Is this a guest list situation? Maybe I should inflate my boobs again. <laughs> yeah, I feel like we need to kind of figure out what he wants. We should just talk to him. Okay, right? what about this? We can talk to him first. And if not, Jaqua and myself can probably do some sort of spells, whether it be prestidigit prestidigitation to make sounds to distract maybe i can use mage mage hand to like cover his eyes for a moment as we run in you know something of the sort but maybe we can talk to him first okay just get a get a pulse okay sure you guys approach um and you kind of have to get there through these velvet ropes so it's sort of like when you're at the airport and there's no line but you guys are still (laughs) (laughs) a 13 foot demon yeah you guys (laughs) the go body just this guy kind of sees you from like a, a ways away. It goes pretty far out as if this place gets like really big lines. And he kind of sees you coming from a mile away. And you guys get up there and you guys sitting there. 
<laughs> yeah, what can I do for you? <laughs> um, we uh were wanting to attend. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Too many dudes. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard about this. I-, I swear we just had a vampire, but she just went up in the thin air. <laughs> we had an OnlyFans creator with us <laughs> moments ago. This would have come He's in a handy. A club. I've <laughs> seen him. Well, yeah, go get her. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Too many dudes. <laughs> they hired the security for the club. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Do you have anything spell wise that could maybe turn <laughs> you? <laughs> into some gorgeous ladies i mean uh, maybe we could could uh, i could i use some sort of prestidigitation to uh, give them a little flavor yeah to give I, chug oh and jiqua a little yeah, flavor tell, tell, tell me who who you which one of them you want to cast that on and then i'm gonna have that person roll a persuasion check okay well here's the thing um i do feel like it's going to have to be Chug because I do feel like with Jaqua, you know, I don't, I feel like the zhuzhing is going to have to be yeah. less. Mm, Chug is 13 feet I with agree. goat hooves. So <laughs> I do feel like we're going to have to make the bigger I, one. The, I'm not good club material. Well, he's I mean, not great <laughs> club material. I don't know if he's going to fit in the club. Also, you know, he's going to notice the 13 foot yeah. one first, yeah. I think. So I, mean, I Chug is like two dudes in one. <laughs> yes, He's a few men stacked on top of each other. Thank you. Okay, um, so I need to roll. So you're gonna cast prestidigitation on him to, oh, okay. to yeah, describe what you do to chug to make him a little. So I move my hands a little bit of wisp. It's glitter, honey, coming from my hands. It is wrapping around his head, his body, his hips, his legs, and he is looking like a glorious thirteen foot Charlie's throne, baby girl. Okay. <laughs> bit of a model demon. <laughs> Model demon. <laughs> model demon. Wow. Um. Hey, model demon. Roll me a persuasion check. It's gonna be a straight roll, and I'm gonna tell you right now the number you gotta beat. I'm gonna set. I'm gonna set the DC. It's twelve. Three. Okay. So, <laughs> so you do that, and he just goes. Let's try. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> Shit. Okay. Um. <sighs> should I attempt to use mage hand? To a big guy. What's your name? <laughs> Sharkarian. Want a job? Oh. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. We'll get you start. <laughs> <laughs> Roughly immediately. <laughs> immediately. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Okay, see you later. Uh, he gets up and walks <laughs> off. And has, I have his job now. Has left you to be the uh, the the bouncer of this place while you see he goes around the corner and like takes out a sack lunch and <laughs> places it down and begins to eat on, on his break. Uh, he also left on that seat for you. He left two silver. As if to say, that's what I'm paying you to watch the front door. Oh, wow. Well, clearly, I'm not going to watch the front door. I'm just that feels disrespectful. Right he really yeah. put a lot of his trust in you and let you have okay, that. Here's what I'm going to do. Here's what I'm going to do. Here's what I'm going to do. Is just kind of a bit of respect and also a way to kind of protect our backs. Is there something I can do in regards to like putting something in the way? Mm. Wow. So I'm. We're gonna. We're gonna go right in, right? But I don't want to leave the door open, so that he doesn't come back and go like, "What the hell did you do?" And we get kicked out again. Is there some sort of like something I can construct or put in? In the you know in the door. Do you have like block it off? <laughs> Maybe you could put your backpack or bedroll on the seat. Uh, <laughs> what if we went back and got the deflated vacuum bag man and reflated him and put him in front of the door? <laughs> put some dead bodies. Rehydrate him. Real free <laughs> body problem. <laughs> that is about an hour away. Wait, yeah. what about we all have a lot of rope? What about we rope off the front entrance so that like no one that. can come I in? I like that. Let's do that. Yeah. Um, as you do that, let me just Ka-ka. get <laughs> just 
I'm going to take a median roll. I'm going to have each of you roll a stealth check. Okay. Because this guy did not fully leave. He's kind of just around the corner eating his So he's still oh, going to be wi- okay. he's still gonna be thinking I'm there waiting. So here's what I'm going to do. The DC is 10 for this. You're each going to roll a stealth check. I just need two of you to get over a 10. A 10 or over. Okay. You'll each, each one of you will roll. Okay, stealth. I'll roll first. 19. One success. 18. 20. Oh, oh natural 20? Yeah. Oh, and I got an 18 this time. <laughs> um, this is a, uh, 18, 19, natural 20. Crazy. This guy left around the corner, blissfully unaware. You see him around the corner eating a sandwich going, if you let peanut colada. <laughs> getting caught in the rain. <laughs> eating, eating his sandwich um, with a natural 20 stealth. You get the sense that he's not even, he believes fully that you guys are there watching the entrance. And it is yours to walk in if you'd like. We did it. All right. Okay, everybody. Okay. We did it. Time to cleanse our souls. <sighs> Preparing for Sally. All right, everybody. Okay. Let's do this thing. You guys head inside? We had it. You head inside, and it's almost as if there was a sound barrier oh. from the outside, because you open the doors, and you immediately start hearing the loudest singing People all together. You walk in rows of people on both sides, standing up. Going, Hallelujah, praise and a core. Hallelujah, praise and a core. Uh, and you see all these people standing up, dancing, snapping their fingers, doing this, all faced towards a stage. And on the stage, you see that there is a man in a suit. Uh, with some sort of wand that he's speaking into, going, let me! My religious trauma is buzzing right now. (laughs) (laughs) Also, if anybody wants to make a history check on the name Zenacor. Yes, yes, okay. Um, Yeah, make, make, everybody, everybody can make a history check. Everybody can also make a perception or investigation check as you sort of walk into this madness. Okay, history check. It's an eight. Okay. Plus. Oh, plus. Oh, so sorry. Um, three. Okay. With an 11 history check for you, you've never heard the name Zenacor, but you've also never heard the name Zenacor. Like, you don't even know a guy who knows a guy named that name. Okay. Like, you're very certain, not a not, not a normal name. Okay. I'll do perception. Oh. <laughs> what, are you, what are you rolling? I roll history. Okay. History is a six. For a six on history? Yeah, you've never heard the name Zenacor. It also... You've never heard anybody say the name Xenacor. So with a six, like you're looking around and in this group of people, mostly people from your town. Right. You see people from your town up in that. Like you've never heard anybody mention that name before. Yeah. Huh. I'm gonna do I'm gonna do a perception. Okay. Yeah. What is that? Two. Are you sure? If it's halfway in between, it's, like... it's it can be cocked, is what here, you call here. it. You can we can re-roll it if it's cocked. Yeah, here. Fifteen plus three, eighteen. 18. As you look around, everybody is dancing and doing this. Everybody's sweating. And you get the sense, like, you're in here for, like, 10 seconds, 15 seconds, 20 seconds. Nothing changes. People go right step. Hallelujah. Left step. Zeplenikov. Hallelujah. <laughs> they don't stop. You, like, turn around and look at somebody in the eyes, and their eyes are glazed. You, like... Put your hand in front of one of their faces. Transfixed. Nothing. Nothing moving on anybody. You even see Sally doing that. And you expect her to see you God, and to not comment. Her. And <laughs> not her. The, for the first time in your life, Sally, not a peep. Dancing. I'm not even interested in you. And you guys. You're more offended in your you life. You guys, I am Hissed. so insecure right now. <laughs> yeah, insecure you're is using her as your... <laughs> Richter scale of Now confidence. I want to kill Zenicor yeah. because he's the distraction. So, so we got full hypnotism. We got full... Can I go up to someone? Mm-hmm. Can I go up to Sally? Yeah. Can I smell Sally? Yeah, you. Yeah, make a perception check for me. Perception check. 18 plus... Oh no, this is 13. Sorry guys, it's the lighting. No, it's 18. <laughs> 18 plus zero. Okay, 18. 18 is great. I mean, you smell Sally, and what you really smell is like kind of like BO. Like it took you guys a, a while to get here. And 
people I was not ready for you to casually say BL. <laughs> people from town left like earlier this morning. Some people left yesterday. And as you're in here, it's been five minutes now going on 10. Nobody has stopped what they're doing. So that means they have hours. Everyone is sweating. People's bot. You see like, like there's like an old lady who's like doing it and you see her legs are like wobbling. Oh my God. Cause she's been dancing for my God, 15 hours till their death. Oh no. <gasps> they're going to dance till they die. I was wanting to smell for canola oil. Yeah. You, well, you actually, really? you, you smell a little bit of canola oil around, around? not necessarily on Sally. You also notice with an 18 that there is like a big, um, not yet passed out sort of communion. Um, up at up at the front, you see this bowl. You can't necessarily see what's in it. You don't see uh, the classic um, wine and crackers. You you see that there's something in there, but you, you can't really tell what it is oh, from no, from where you it's are. Kool Aid. <laughs> it's the carrot Kool Aid. Well, I'm a little nervous. I mean, we got we got a bunch of people that are transfixed, so I'm not nervous about them. But whoever's at the let front, me hear you. Yeah, that the 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 let me hear you person. Can they see? Are they going to notice us if we start? fucking around too much i think we got to start dancing to blend in i like that okay i'll say i'll say with th this per is you you walked in the doors opened you've you know done this to people you've smelled people you're in like the main walkway that goes straight down to it and this person hasn't necessarily called you out hasn't really acknowledged you we i want to hear you sing it i think we should go check out that bowl I say we gotta go check out the bowl. Because clearly they probably took whatever that is and now they're... Or at least one of us goes and checks out the bowl. Maybe the other two of us keep dancing. Okay. You wanna go? I'll go check out the bowl. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> and make an investigation check for me. Fourteen. With a fourteen. First of all, you see that there is a clock behind the person on stage and the communal is kind of like right in front of this guy with a 14 you notice three things the first is that on the clock there's eight minutes left Whoa. the clock is counting down oh. and it and it and it says countdown to communion oh. the second oh no. thing you oh notice no. Oh no. Oh is no. the bowl as you go up and look at it it is like a massive fish bowl full of water and you see tadpoles <gasps> swimming around like the ones that were in the bunny's head that transformed him the one that you found in mr salt's freezer the ones that you had done your research turned things into mind flayers the third thing that you see is that the man on stage also sweating and you notice he's repeating the same like five lines so he walks to the right, let me hear ya. And then he walks to the left, sing it loud. And then he walks to the right, come on now. And then he walks to the left and he is repeating it over and over. You look at his eyes glazed over. So he's a part, he's, he's sucked he's in also as well. Transfixed. He's also He's a puppet. He's also he's transfixed. A puppet. And what, what are they singing again? Zenicor. Hallelujah, praise Zenicor. Zenicor. Sounds like an MLM. <laughs> it's definitely an MLM. <laughs> now, to figure out what are the, these tadpoles that this MLM is selling. <laughs> Interesting. Okay. My initial so thought. It's, it's communion. It means they're eating it. We've got eight minutes left. I I feel like, is it, with an eight minute countdown, do we need to split up? It's almost like somebody needs to dump the bowl. Someone needs to get rid of this bowl because they're about to start yeah, like chugging that. these tadpoles, like right? That. So someone needs to get the bowl. But I also feel like there needs to be an investigation going on to see if there's something in some other room or area. Is the is it one big room or are there other hallways that we're seeing? You're in one massive room um, that is all of these stands pointing down towards a stage. And then you see that there's like a backstage area. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Someone needs to dump the bowl. I have a fun little thing that I've never seen before personally, <gasps> but I can say I can destroy water, which is a spell. Whoa. Whoa. I've seen this for the first time. <laughs> <laughs> so Destroying water. It's all about finding new things about yourself, which I really like. It's, it's a fun spell. It's called it's called create or destroy water. And I've only in my entire history of playing D and D, I've only ever seen people create water with it. I've never seen anybody yes, destroy water. Destroy water. Wow. 
water. Yeah. <laughs> a first here. We hate water here in this family. <laughs> so. We really truly are an anti-water community. <laughs> so for your mom and dad. <laughs> <laughs> anti-water community it's Ryan true. knows about my lack of hydration okay. Um, okay so you'll destroy the water okay um, you destroy up to 10 gallons of water in an open container within range I mean this is built for oh us oh my god yeah this so is we'll, it we'll, we'll let's watch these worms we're about to suffocate stir the pot. okay wow is, we're about to stir the pot I like that okay so you cast destroy water destroy water all right. Um, so you go up to the bowl to do this. You're there. Where are you when this is happening? I feel like I need to go backstage. Okay. So the two of you. Oh my God, I'm going to be alone for the first as time. As you destroy water, you see these things look at you. And there's a sentience beyond worm-like. And as you destroy water, you see that there's enough of these in the bowl for every person in this room. Oh. And as you destroy the water, all of them make one leap from the bowl <laughs> oh, no. at both of you and go like their open maws, the big toothy maw ringed with fangs. And I need both of you to make dexterity saving throws. I've made a huge mistake. Which is something, something that we have not done Apologies before. Apologies all around. <laughs> We should have. We should have made more water. <laughs> Which is, I believe, it's in that top box, top left. You'll see your dexterity saving throws. So next to that, one over, yeah. Over oh, here. Mm -hmm. That's a ten. Okay. Dexterity. Okay. Four. Okay. Oh, no. So you both failed. So as these things. <laughs> oh, no. No, you get the no. sense these things, like in being destroyed, made a last ditch effort to try and shoot themselves at you to maybe, like you had heard the one last time, attach to your eye. <gasps> they crawl in through the eye. So as they you go, guys. and to do that, they're normally they're placed there and it's very delicate and it's very whatever. Them making a jumping at you, you get the sense that's not going to happen, but you both did fail and you both take one. Four points of piercing damage all as right. these things like a flurry come at you guys and then they all land on the ground and start flopping around. But oh, no. you get the sense you see them start to die as they are out of water. Oh, yes. On the ground. <gasps> you guys but you both took four points of damage. Four points. You guys, so what Damn. I would like to say that you both were sacrificial lambs and I, I ran away just in time. <laughs> I still got my mind. <laughs> I'm not glazed. <laughs> <laughs> um, and you're going backstage, correct? I am. Um, make a perception or investigation for me as you you go around, and there's sort of uh, this curtain that is sort of separating the stage. Okay, I'm going to do investigation. Cool. Nineteen plus one is a twenty. Nineteen plus one. You move the you move the curtain and go to take a step, and you see there's a bear trap on the ground. Oh. That was meant for if somebody tried to come back this way. Oh. With a 19, you don't step in it. Had you rolled lower, get the sense, you would have stepped right into a bear trap. But you are able to move around it, but somebody was protecting or trying to keep people out of the backstage as you see this. Okay. I'd like to continue further on. Okay. Um, you continue further on, and it leads down to this, this hallway in the back that goes all the way and leads to a door and there's a single door like the huge backstage sort of funnels down to this hallway and the hallway goes to one door at the very end i'm all alone so i'm feeling a little nervous um oh, hold on <laughs> i'm insecure being alone hmm I'm nervous there's going to be some sort of that beyond in that hole. Uh, what if I get fucking sucked right in? Maybe we'll wind up back at the bloodbath and beyond. <laughs> oh, we should have jumped in that hole. Oh my god. <laughs> hey, we can do that when could've we get skipped home. <laughs> could have skipped all that fighting in the woods. <laughs> can I use my mage hand to, from a little bit of a distance, open that door to mm. give myself a little bit of space here? 
Interesting that you say that. As the mage hand touches the handle, you see smoke starts to rise as if the handle was heated to hurt whoever touched it. <gasps> but because you use the mage hand, the door clicks, starts to open. What are you two doing at this moment? Getting worm sucked. <laughs> Brushing the worm goop off and then, you know, gonna follow, follow Cindy. Yeah. Carefully. Yeah, we'll you see her. the countdown currently is at three minutes. Shit. We run in after her. You the run in. the bear trap. <laughs> yeah, yeah, jumping she, over the bear trap. <laughs> since she moved the thing, you see the bear trap right there. Uh, you head down the hallway as you see your guys at the end of the hallway. You're all the way up at the door. The door opens and you see a couple things. The first thing you see is right next, like on the door frame. As you, as it opens, you see something immediately like attached to the door frame, and it's one of Chug's arrows. <gasps> the beyond. So you were right. In the back of the room, <laughs> you, you see. Right, in the back of the room, you do see the same sort of portal. Um, in, in the back of the room, but in the middle of the room, you see this gigantic pool. Filled with, you could call it water. I think it'd be more apt to call it brine. Oh. This massive pool filled with brine. And you see these tentacles coming out of the pool all over. Five over here, five over here, a couple in the front, a couple in the back. And sitting in the center of the pool is a massive bus-sized brain. <laughs> And you see these tentacles go underwater and attach to the underside of the brain. And you see there there are other things. You you recognize Duke's, uh, one of Duke's hand axes was thrown through this thing and you see it like in the pool um, with this thing. But it is, this brain is sort of floating in the water, tentacles out all over. Y'all, I have to tell you right now, I'm getting a little suspicious of Duke. Okay, he was staring at the titties for too long. <laughs> he also... Has that hole in beyond in the back, and now there's this. I don't know. I'm feeling a little nervous about Duke. Okay. <sighs> okay, well, I mean... I feel like, I mean, we have to destroy the brain, right? We have three minutes. That's true, but, but but that was for the communion taking. All the worms are dead now. That's true. That's very true. So either someone's going to come and check on the fact that all the worms are dead, and they're gonna, there's going to be a problem, or... Now we have unlimited time. I don't know, but we we, we shouldn't gamble. Do you think? I mean, we, we, if we kill this brain, we don't even know what the brain is. We have no idea what it, any of this is. Do we wait to see what happens when the count when it the clock strikes midnight? Essentially, the clock strikes zero without the worm, since they're all dead, and see what happens to everyone. I want to roll a perception check to see if the brain, like, if what's keeping the brain alive, yeah. oh. is it the brain. Absolutely, yeah. Mm. That's a uh, fourteen. Yeah, with a fourteen, I think you, it's it's hard to tell. It kind of looks like, I mean, the brain is controlling these tentacles. You see the tentacles moving, like one of them pops through that hole and then comes back. So there's um, and it's a brain. It's a big brain. So the amount of sentience happening here is pretty large. Get the sense that the brine is keeping it alive. But the brine's not, like, keeping it from, like, instant death. Mm. Like, you see some wet marks around the room. Like, this thing has exited the pool <gasps> and <gasps> moved about and is currently back resting in the pool. As if, you know, your brain like a needs... a water snake or something. That's yeah, like, your brain yeah, needs yeah. to be hydrated. <laughs> so this, this brain submerges itself in this pool of brine to keep itself slick and not dry out. <laughs> Should, would, how should we should we throw Chug into the abyss? <laughs> Part of me feels like you you don't have a destroy brine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's also probably more, more than, than thirty. Uh, yeah, yeah. 30 yeah. Gallons. Should we okay. listen? How far? Um, can I? Uh, am I able to see how far the brain is away, like distance wise? Or yeah, should it's I probably throw? it's probably only like fifteen feet away from you, where like the pool starts. But then it, it's as big as a bus, so then it it the brain itself big continues as a bus. I mean, for another fifteen should, feet. Huge. Should one of us, you know, either shoot a, a a bow? Should we try to like maybe a fire? I could do a firebolt, something to see what happens if we hit the brain, just yeah, to we see could. what I'm happens. Yeah, we I mean, it's the size of a bus. Shooting an arrow at a bus is like 
throwing it, you know, just like nothing. We've got to be, I mean, maybe, like, we can try and just see how it reacts. Want to do that? I just kind of want to see, yeah, how, it see reacts. how it reacts. Let's see how it reacts. Maybe something smaller, not so intense. I don't know. Because so, I don't want to get it angry. Poke it. As you look to do that, you had broken your bow. You had broken the oh, actual yeah. bow off of it. Yeah. You knew that you could repair it. If you wanted to attempt to repair it, we can roll that check now if you'd like. Let's do it. Okay. So roll me a sleight of hand check as you, you take the string out, you take the bow. Ooh. 20. Ooh. Ooh, hell yeah. <laughs> the difficulty for that was a 15. A 20 is great. You are able to reset your bow back up, and you can absolutely take a shot if you'd like. Let's take a shot. You guys ready? Yeah. Longbow? Longbow at advantage, because this thing is just chilling. Uh, at advantage. So, 7 plus 6, 13. Or? Whoa. 26. That's a natural 20. Whoa, yeah. we got a natural oh. 20! <laughs> so a couple things happen. First of all, you shoot your bow into this thing, and you're going to roll damage. And because you rolled a natural 20, you double the dice. So for your longbow, it's a it's a D8, right? Yeah. Plus three, I think it is. Two. Right? Two? So you're going to roll two D8s, and then add two. And that's the amount of damage you just did for rolling a natural 20. Eight. Oh, okay. <laughs> two. A 10 plus 2 is 12 damage. Okay. So you shoot this thing and immediately you all feel a psychic shock wave <gasps> leave out of this thing. Like push all of you back in the room five feet as like a burst of air with this psychic energy. You also immediately hear people back <gasps> stop singing. <gasps> Yes, you hear people yes, yes. start to cry. People start screaming for other people. You hear people collapsing as... Oh my God, the grandma with her legs. As this concentration... <laughs> we disrupted what it was doing. The concentration has been broken. At that exact same moment, the tentacles on each side... Oh no. ...hit the ground and oh no. push the brain oh no. out <laughs> of the brine to stand up 20 feet tall. Oh no using the tentacles as legs. Oh my god. And I need you guys to roll initiative. Oh no, it's taller than Chug. <laughs> Damn it. I mean, this thing's the size of a bus and it's taller than me. We're... F okay. Uh, 20, 20 initiative. Okay. Whoa, 20 initiative? 13. I'm 7. 13 yes, for Ka. 7 for Chug. So... Jaqua, you see this thing has lifted itself up using these tentacles. You see now that it has lifted itself up, uh, some of the water displaced and moves down, and you see a little nameplate on the pool, and the nameplate says Xenacor. Oh. That's it. Um, and you're first to act. That's All right. It. I mean, I can't. I assume I can't reach him with my shillelagh. You can, because the, the tentacles oh. are on the ground, right. so you can hit one of the tentacles that yes. are attached yeah. to, like, underneath oh. the brain. It's a brain, MLM. All right, let's get that. <laughs> <laughs> let's Some sort of bite vitamins. <laughs> vitamins. Okay, that is 12. Uh, a 12 to hit? Yes. A 12 to hit is exactly the AC. Oh, yes! Meets it, beats it. So meets it, beats it, pizza, pizza. <laughs> Pizza, pizza, little pizza, Caesars. pizza, little Caesars. That's <laughs> <laughs> then, of course, nickname. Little Caesars. Yeah. Little Caesars. One of my favorites. A two brute. All right, that's gonna be eleven points of bludgeoning. Damage. Eleven points Whoa. of bludgeoning damage. Woo! Oh my god, Jaqua, he's two. just our secret sexy assassin. <laughs> he just okay. like pretends to be like talking to animals, but he's always coming in with the final he strikes. Is. And is that your turn? Yeah. All right. On Xenacor's turn, you see three of these tentacles on the ground lift up, and each one come after one of you. <gasps> Jaqua? Not the bone dice. The five. Natural two. That comes at you. Take your shillelagh. Move it along. Coffered. That's a 13. What's your armor class? 15. Okay, so it misses. Yeah. Nice. So it comes for you. Uh, it, it comes for you, and you left the front door open at the front of this place, and you hear behind you, Grr! and as it comes for you, a crow goes and pecks at it, and it misses Stop you. Stop it, my family. I knew it. <laughs> They've been following Chug. me this whole time. 17. 
Shit. 13. Okay. Chug. So as, Chug. as this Classic. tentacle comes and hits you, you take... Uh, it's plus three, four points of piercing damage. And not only that, it wraps around... You see it hit Chug and wrap around him. You are considered grappled as it picks you up. You are like in this tentacle as it's wrapped around your midsection. Shit. That is Xenacor's turn. It is now Ka's turn. Okay. Yeah, what's Listen. your health at now? That was four. Yeah. Four. Okay. Listen, though my mouth speaks that I can't stand this goat hooved demon, the truth of the matter is my crow boobs cannot resist him. <laughs> and I will save this demon and he will not know my love for him ever, but I will save him. And I My am going to not stop with a go <laughs> The poet, the poet. Wild. Give me some mead. <laughs> I'm going to shoot a gorgeous witch bolt love that. at that brain. I love that. You're the you're gonna roll to hit. It's AC is twelve, so that's what you're trying to beat. Sixteen. Sixteen. Yes. The witch bolt yes. comes out from you and hits the brain Thank and you. connects. So it is connecting you and the brain because now on your other turns. I've got the. Yeah, you're concentrating on the witch bolt the same way this brain was concentrating on whatever it was doing to those people. So now you're concentrating on this witch bolt and every turn from now on, you can just do the damage again if you'd like. As long as you don't lose concentration. A crow never loses concentration. <laughs> <laughs> so go ahead and roll damage. I believe it's a D12 of lightning damage. Okay. D12. Two. Two points lightning damage. Still good. Hits this thing. You see that that does a little extra damage because of how wet the brain is. Oh, yeah. This yes. lightning damage. Mm. It's conducting over his brain and it does an extra two big points Zelda of lightning vibes. damage. Oh my God, big Zelda oh. vibes. Get that rubber armor on, mm. Kings. <laughs> Chug, my you turn. stand at the doors of death at four hit points, lifted in the air with this thing. What would you like to do? <sighs> they're going to take my acid sword out. And see if I can <gasps> cut the tentacle. Yes. I love that. Yes. The wave of sorrow. The way I want to cut that tentacle clean off to drop me down. Yes. I love that. So you're gonna roll to hit. And now if you hit with your with your great sword being a fighter, that's your bread and butter. It does two D6 plus something damage, plus, because it's the wave of sorrow, an additional D6. So you'll be rolling three D6 plus, I think it's three or something. So you're gonna have to roll to hit. So AC is twelve. 15 plus, is it great sword? Yeah. 19. 19. Yes. You swing and you see as your sword swings, bits of acid are like following the tip of the sword. You hit this tentacle, cut it directly off from his body. You fall down to the ground, land on your feet and roll me, roll me damage. Do you want to roll that? This one? No, the, uh, the six sided die. You're going to roll that three times. Three. Okay. Five. That's eight. Okay. Three. That's eleven plus. Uh, this. Yeah. Where is it? Two d six plus two. Two. So that was eleven plus two is thirteen. Yeah. Thirteen points of damage. This thing did not like that. Oh no. You oh, hear no. it psychically. <laughs> it shrieks. And you all feel it rack your brain, your mind for a minute as this thing, um, shrieks out. In that moment, you feel like. It transposes all this information to you. Like you get a glimpse, a glimpse into this thing's life. This thing is an elder brain. Elder brains are what control mind flayers. Those mind flayers, they serve like elder berries. <laughs> like elder berries. <laughs> yes. They serve mind flayers all serve elder brains. The disruption in the town. Who's been behind it all? You found the kingpin of the entire thing. The elder brain. Um we are back at the top of the initiative. He's still standing. Jaqua, it is your turn. All right, one more shillelagh. Hopefully okay. one more. 
17. Oh. 17 hits this guy. Yes. Real quick. What is a shillelagh? I still am I confused. It's like a dish. It's a. Is it food? It's a druid it's a whip. It's a yeah. whip. A whip. Oh, whip. a whip like W H. A whip. <laughs> You're not telling me this is a whip. <laughs> okay. All right. Whip damage. Nine points. Nine points of damage. You do Dang. nine points of damage to this thing, and you cut off another one of its tentacles doing yes, nine points yes. of damage this thing is on death's door you see he's bleeding and there's like some of the brine is coming off there's like smoke coming off of him as if like he's thinking so hard to like stay up he's a little wobbly because he doesn't have as many tentacles to, like keep himself out of the water he's almost beginning to fall down however it is his turn oh no and because you cut off a tentacle and you cut off a tentacle he's only going to get to attack with two tentacles instead of all three. There isn't one by you, but the other two are gonna come at both of you. So, Jaqua. That's a dirty 20 to hit. Oh, oh no, Jaqua, no, Jaqua. No, I'm sorry. Dealing seven points of piercing damage. I'm knocked down, man. You see Jaqua. No, no. Goes down. No. <clears throat> hits the ground. Eyes beginning to close. Remember my name. No, Jaqua. Jaqua. No, no Jaqua. Je ne sais quoi. No, no. Jaqua, he's down. No. He's fighting for his life. And on his turn, he'll be making death saving throws no. to either live or die. The no. other attack, Cofford, comes for you. That is only a six. A three on the die. Misses. And Cofford. As your turn starts, the electricity between you, connecting you and this creature, Jaqua, down on the ground, eyes beginning to close. What do you do? I mean... Do you have a medicine? I was going to say, I want to I wanna help Jaqua. But, but then at the same time, if you give him medicine, then does he get to strike again? Do you oh, strike it would, after me? No, it would be your turn, and then it would be your turn. Oh, okay. And then so, it would be Chiquas So give medicine. I'll, 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 I'll do the sword again. You do medicine. Okay. I have plus zero for medicine. Okay. Do yeah. Have, yeah. What do you, what do you have alive. for medicine? What do you have for medicine? One. Okay. It's not much. Okay. So you, so you use your action to sort of run over and try and stabilize yes, your friend. I need to help resuscitate. <laughs> Roll me a d20. On a 10 or higher, you have stabilized Jaqua. On a natural 20, I'll say Jaqua will regain a certain amount of hit points and he'll be ready to go. Lower than a 20, but higher than a 10, he's stable and not dying. Eighteen. Eighteen. Jaqua goes down and immediately coming over to you with your eyes closing, you look up and you're like, birds? Crows? <sighs> and your fo your vision focuses as you staunched his wound and you are stabilized. <gasps> my sweet. Oh my God. My sweet Jaqua. Let's go, motherfucker. <laughs> now, Chug, you look at this guy. Oh my God. And you could end it with this swing as you're looking at this thing but you have to hit it AC is 12 I love you <laughs> shut up Chuck do it Chuck your boobs are legend <laughs> I'm willing to give my life for them <laughs> yeah, did you say your boobs are legend <laughs> yeah I'll do anything for those boobs. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> no. A five plus a ten. So a ten. So as your sword, you you begin to swing and you're gonna miss. And you you look at Cofford. Boobs. <laughs> you look at Jaquan <sighs> on the ground. You hear behind you. Oh my god. <gasps> and you see Sally. What's her face? That bitch. Looking, looking at this in utter disbelief 
And in that moment, oh no, no, her crying out at what's going on in this room, at the thought of, you get the sense of the thought of, you guys dying. Sally, in that moment, gives you inspiration. And you will be able to roll that attack <gasps> again oh with advantage. God. I don't know how I feel about Sally giving him inspiration. <laughs> I'm a little confused right now. Sally's kind of hot. I'm going to be honest with you. Just a little bit. A little hot. A six. With a, with a six. A six plus. Was it a great sword? Yeah. So a ten. So a ten again. A ten with the not even the Walmart version of Cofford could change the outcome of this. As you look back. <laughs> You look back and it's the same oh, no. outfit Cofford had worn mere days ago. <laughs> um, now, with such a high medicine roll, Jaqua, you're on the ground, but you over at one hit point, and it is your turn. Okay. You get the sense things don't look good. If this thing gets to go again, oh, next no. next turn, shit, shit. done. It's gonna come after you guys. Am I still connected with my witch bolt? You are. I'm going to put it all on the line, guys. Go. It's now or never. Go. It's Shillelagh time. <laughs> 17. 17 <gasps> connects. I'll tell you this right now before you roll that, because a Shillelagh is a D8. Yes. Okay, so I'll tell you this right now. This thing has 10 hit points left. Okay. So what do you add to that D8? Uh, three. A three. So you need to roll a seven or an eight on that shillelagh <laughs> to take this guy out. Oh my god. Oh my god. Come on, babe. Oh my god. It's a four. <sighs> With a four, you god! do... God! <laughs> you do seven points of damage. This thing is at three health. You are on the ground, dying, Sally at the door, screaming, <laughs> but also looking at you and trying to figure out what outfit you're wearing. <laughs> And you're just kind of trying, like, making Sally, mental notes. Stop looking at me, <laughs> fucking bitch. Is that bloodbath and beyond? <laughs> and on Renacor's turn, two attacks at each of you. Fuck. This thing's really putting us through the paces. Cofford, this is coming at you first. I should blow up my boobs. That's an 18. Oh. And you take, how much health do you have? What's your max health? Nine. Okay, so the good news is this thing rolls a d4 and adds three. So he cannot put you down at okay. this moment. And it's only a one. So you take four points of damage as a tentacle whips out at you. Now, it's, uh, <laughs> I have four. You, you only have four health. Oh, no, 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 no. So I can't. I add do a this three again. to this. <laughs> I add a three to this. Your AC is 13. So you need a nine or lower. A 16. Tentacle whips out. <laughs> Jaquaz on the ground at one health. Another tentacle hits Chug. Ugh. Hits the ground. His eyes start to close. Oh my god. Oh my god. That boys. is the end of his turn. It is now, Coffred. It is your turn. Save us. Now the question is do I try to revive Chug or do I? try to kill this thing that's got three hit points left? I'd say you know you know that Jaqua has those good berries and can get him stable if you do kill it. Berries. However, you know it's got three health left and on your witch bolt, you deal a d12 of damage. So if you roll a one or a two on your d12, take him out, babe. You don't kill him. You can do it. You, you need can, to roll a three or higher you, on that d12. You can do it. On the, oh, I rolled the D12 right now. The D12, because you, you just auto do that lightning damage. Don't roll a one or a two. You want a three or higher. Let's okay. do it. Take him out. I came this far. Always leave it up to the okay. fucking woman. <laughs> a three. The exact. A three. <laughs> oh. <laughs> a fucking three. Lightning. <laughs> Lights up the room as this thing is ripped <sighs> apart in midair. It falls. Oh, my flap! <laughs> my flap. <laughs> my breasts are glowing. <laughs> Pieces of this 
of this brain start falling in the in the brine. Brine starts flying everywhere. You also see as it starts flying this brine, the beyond portal in the back of the room disappears. <gasps> as you get get the sense it was connected to this thing's life force. It chunks of it. Oh, I'm hungry. Into the pool. And you hear rushing in. Oh no! Ah, running down the hallway. <laughs> Jesus. Well, well, well. <gasps> These are my little detectives. <laughs> yeah, this oh, is my scout boy. I remember that voice. <laughs> well, well, well. Look at you. You've done it. <laughs> You've saved the town yet again. I believe it's time we take those honorary badges and we make them full time. <gasps> I gotta be honest with you though. Why, why didn't you just solve this? I feel like <laughs> you keep running in right as we solve this, which means that you've just been watching us. I'd appreciate you just to figure this shit out in the in the future, if you don't mind. I was deep undercover. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I was the brain. <laughs> I was deep. He was. I was so deep undercover. You see that he's wearing the clothes of the bouncer you <laughs> saw earlier. <laughs> he's like, I really had you out there. Yeah. <laughs> he went, I got you in. Oh, so wow. Just sandwich crumbs on his face. If you like pina coladas, remember that. <laughs> yeah, that was me. <laughs> Oh, Space Cowboy. Yes. I have a request. Yes. Remember the last time. What are you doing? That you took Mr. What are you doing? Mr. Salton yes. by handcuffs. Absolutely. Is there anything that this Sally person did over here um, that we he, could maybe cuff her? He sort of looks at her and goes, a well. Crime of fashion, perhaps. Listen, you're my, you're my detectives. Sally, <laughs> you're under arrest. <laughs> <laughs> she she did some stuff. We'll prove it later. Uh, he he starts to uh, uh, handcuff her, and she goes, "Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Where's my birthday? <laughs> oh no! Okay, never mind, detective. You can take him off. I'm sorry. Got uh, my crow heart. Too much of a sap. <laughs> uh, as he as he takes them off, the townspeople begin uh, congratulating you all, Steve. Uh, the space cowboy. Um, you see, also he's got like he's got an undercover like gangster uniform on. Um, uh, he he leaves uh, the the space cowboy leaves you all. The the people come in, congratulate you. Um, your heroes. You've saved the town. You've shut down the <laughs> eternity's voice, immaculate lord, aka E V I L, evil. <gasps> Oh, oh. Wow. thanks, dude. Talk. You Damn should have led Brian, with that. You that shit's fire. Whole time. <laughs> wow. Um, wow. As you shut down this pseudo uh, elder brain mega church action that was happening. You go back to the town. You're heralded as heroes, um, and you have saved this town mm. for good. Yes. And in addition to that, should we ever play again? You've leveled up. <gasps> no. Yeah. Oh my God. No way. <laughs> wow. And our adventure concludes. Oh my oh, goodness. Oh, wow. 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 You all, we leveled up. I mean, Chuck I mean, is practically dead, but he did level up. <laughs> practi we were both practically I dead. Mean, this was like the most dramatic game of D&D I think I've ever played. Really? This was, so, this no, was the drama. because of our king. Oh my gosh. Brian. Brian, yes. thank Brian you. Loves this our, whole thing our dungeon is. master, an absolute oh god. Oh my god. I'm so we proud of you, you guys. You guys did so good. Thank you so oh. much. This is I, it. Honestly, these are the best moments of my life, and I love my kid. But these are the best moments. Yeah, of my life. the birth of our child was good, but this might be better. That's yeah. not a big deal. Killing but the just, big brain, I amazing. Just, I just leveled up. Like, sorry, yeah. this is better. Destroying water. Oh. What's better than oh. that? Yeah. I mean, destroying water was I so iconic. <laughs> no one's <laughs> ever done that in the history of anything. And Chug kept his mask on the entire time. Yeah, honestly, that's a feat in itself. It really is. It's not very comfortable. <laughs> I cannot wait 
to chill out later. <laughs> you guys did great. Katie did ama- amazing also. That was awesome. Uh-oh. Yes. Oh, my Dude, goodness. So she good. After when she was on her way out, she literally was like so depressed. She's like, I want to cancel this date so badly. She's like, I want to stay in and play. She you guys to did join great. another time. Speaking of Katie Thurston, make sure to check out her upcoming comedy dates. I'll put the link down in the episode notes. She's got some shows. They're almost sold out, I think, popping off. But make sure to check that out. Yeah. And Brian over here, a.k.a. Oliver the Kid. Yes. Check out the music. Yeah, I'm 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 everywhere. I'm doing I'm doing everything. Like if you if you look up all over the kid, you'll find me. And it will be in writing the songs, notes. producing songs. The dude's unbelievable. He's, He's one of the most talented people I've ever met. So absolutely, absolutely shredding the gym with my bro. And we're gym, 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 gym bros, bros now, by yes. the way. Actually, we're gym, gym bros. bros. So whenever you see you know a picture of me absolutely boxing, absolutely <laughs> this guy's teaching me the ropes. He's uh, incredible. So everything he does, check out because he's an incredible human. Everything being. he does is incredible, and of course, per usual, check out Internet Ceramics with oh. our King oh, Lee yeah. over here. We're just Jeez. crushing the gorgeous ceramic Yay. game. We're just surrounded by absolute talent. Absolute talent. So grateful for all of you. So grateful for my D&D family and our Cheers. podcast family. We love, love you, you all. all. Tune in on Friday for another episode. And thanks for joining us for another Woo! round. Huzzah! 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 Huzzah!